Well, now it is time for your streamy goodness of Veracity Trigger. We are going to play some more Grand Edition HQ, and uh, we're going to see what happens here. So let's go ahead and do this. We're live, and guess what? Leonia is on defense at her final castle here. Man, damn, I streamed a long time last night. Um, but yeah, we are here, and uh, you are here too. So let's get into this. One second. What we have, what we have today, essentially, is the final keep for Leonia. Leonia might go down here, she might survive, I don't know, but I do have to try to fight to help her survive. So, there is a chance, there is a chance that she could survive through my ever-loving manly care there is a chance that that could happen, you know? But we'll see today. It might not actually happen, though. this count I think we're gonna move her off the castle all right so it's not a super devastating army you could probably knock out some leaders, and that will probably do it. Scrumptious. Ooh. Hey, Heltzen, how's it going, man? This is the final battle for Leonia. I have to try to help them get a win. I can very well likely do it, um, but Leonia might lose some stuff in the process, and then they're definitely, definitely going to go down quite, quite fast here. So, also, if you want to know what happens if you keep two leaders on a capital like this, on both squares, you keep the opposite leader, like, uh, let's say we put Garant here on this tile, and we had uh, Patternus at this tile, turn 12, Defender's Rule. So, you go with the Defender Rule, and whoever the Defender is, so if there is a um, Defender Leader sitting on a castle alongside an enemy leader, they give it to the Defender, so Defenders will win. How's it going, man? Um... Metallic Mike is out with the Koof, and uh, Raging Paul is, I don't know, I think he's taking a break this month, this uh, this week here. So, next week I think things should be back in order. Uh, Monday is going to be another day of Burgund um, yeah, Monday is going to be another day of Burgundine. And we'll do like a couple hours of the new game, and then we'll play more of this. And then, uh... You know, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, all those days. I'll do what we have to. <laughs> yep. Yep, that's the truth. Isn't it kind of funny, though, Neomechia is actually attacking Leonia? 
I swore it was going to be a Scalio. Or it was going to be, you know, one of them. It was not. Cutter. But yeah, we'll be doing this today, so. I don't think this will be too hard to defend, really. Nope. <laughs> Not that hard at all, really. Oh, you guys. You silly, silly dudes. The silly, silly army trying to come in here, attack a full defensive team that full heals. All that stuff. Even though it's very, very small. Like, look at this. Can't can't break this. You can't break this down. I got too many healers. How are you gonna stop me? How are you gonna stop me? Yeah, I can't run away, but how are you gonna stop me? You got a couple of clay golems here, what do you freaking do? You brought two men in here. You could have taken a full freaking team. You could have literally taken a whole team. You have a full... You got a full team there. You didn't even bother. It's just dumb. It's gonna slaughter all these monsters. Just got too much holy words going on here. We got heals. Heals for days. New Omechia really got their their team slaughtered trying to do this though. So how are you, Altison? Did you get the Koof too? Pretty sure everybody got the Koof by now. <laughs> Unbreakable. <laughs> there we go. Good for you, man. Good for you. I'm just going to break down the army. There's just no need to try to kill off the leaders here. There'll just be two leaders left. And what are they going to do? I had a pretty late night last night, didn't, <laughs> didn't we? <laughs> yep, that's about it. You came here and just got your whole team killed off. That was that. Good job, Garrett. Good job. I know. That was uh, almost an eight-hour stream there. Besides the other two-hour stream I already did. I had... Uh, I think Jaeger gives me energy I just never knew I ever had. <laughs> I think it gives me just a, such a surplus of energy. People probably would think, oh, man, that would put you out. No, I think it just... I think it gives me all the, all the sugary goodness I need. How you doing, Jake? How's it going, man? Yep, that was almost a loss on Leonia's side, but they Neomechia didn't bring a full team. They just brought a couple guys 
and put every little thing right in line to just get completely trashed. It was just a, such an easy defense, like, I think maybe a Scalio might actually come in and do and finish it up. I, I would say that that's probably the case. Um, yeah, Metallic Mike's out. Uh, we can't really do much else. I mean, I could play a different game, but I, I really want to see what's going to happen with this. Um, but next week, everything should turn back to normal. I do believe it. I'm an ardent uh, believer in believing in those kinds of things. You know, and I'm pretty sure if you believe it too, it's very likely going to, you know, come to fruition, so... There is that. <laughs> I, I have to fight for Escalio here. I don't know how good of a position we'll get with this, though. No idea. I have absolutely no idea. But he's... Oh, that's... Okay. Okay. There's Plisk in there. It was a late night, but it was it was pretty fun, hey? I think it was pretty fun. Meteor Doom on you and you! <laughs> oh, it does hit the it does hit the bastard too. Look at that! I was like, "Wow, that's a heck of a reach right there." Welp. Well, we tried. <laughs> we tried. We failed, but we tried. Just enough. Kept waiting for someone to get knocked out. Almost happened right now, too. Leonia could have got knocked out, but, like, if you and Becky would have went in with Lance and some healers, and actually put themselves in some decent kind of position, they, they wouldn't have got totally smoked. But, yeah, Leoness is down to one castle, they're at the capital, and Escalio is down to one castle too. Um, very well could happen today. Very likely to. Turn four. Meteor Doom to you! <laughs> You're gonna kill your own... Pliskin! He's killing you! You're on that team! He just killed you! Camden killed you and rescued the Rampant Crest from you as well. Your own leader killed you off. Because he's Meteor Doom obsessed. Look at that. Look at that. See that? Well, they did kind of capture you from Carleon, and then well, they, I guess they killed you off finally. Ah, uh, it's a good thing you have uh, multiple copies of yourself elsewhere. Yeah, son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Look at that guy. He's just like, I don't need that. I don't need that dragon up there. I'll do it all by myself. He just killed off like two of his own team teammates right there. You did get violated by by Camden. You know what? You, you can never trust Camden. He is. A, a I fun... lose. You win. <laughs> he is a funny dude. Good but for you. You can never trust Camden. He just killed you off right there. He's like, eff it. Meteor Doom, you're dead. Your guys? No. Mine. <laughs> I know. What a sad, sad waste. Now, I would not have done Meteor Doom on my own monster like that. Don't look. So sad. <laughs> 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 
that was quite horrible. Probably, that that's gonna help, that's probably gonna get us the, the L here. We're probably gonna get the L because of that. Almost positive. I can't even help the Skylio get a win here. It's because of that stupid shenanigans. What are we gonna do? What, what, what do we have left on our team here? What do we have, what do we have left on our team with a Skylio? Two giants? Not even that. That'll be gone, too. This dumbass. Okay, well... I'm, he's gonna stay for this fight. I don't really care. <laughs> I'm gonna make him stay. Then again... I don't know. Maybe we should go. We kind of need to go, don't we? Yeah. Jeez. Fifty-six. Oh. <laughs> That's got to go. Now I'm burning hell. <laughs> Maybe they will. Camden's got. I gotta make him run. He, they would make him run anyways. He's he's too low. Any more hits, he's a goner. <laughs> the loser's giant too. What a dumbass. I was gonna try to help him fight a little bit, but what do they have left to fight with? Back to Macus. What's Bag to Magus gonna do? He's totally surrounded. Tons of monsters, tons of stuff there. We got one demon, a giant, one workable giant. Yeah, that's not gonna work. That's not that's not gonna happen. Heavy hand! Oh! Bye bye. Gator needs his gat, you punk ass bitch! <laughs> that he do, that he do. Now everybody that was rooting for Skylio is gonna be just super pissed. They nuked their own team members. Quite literally nuked their own team. For what? For what? What did it get him? It didn't get him anything. They didn't. They, they didn't even hurt the dude barely. Got an angel there. I don't know. I've seen a lot of craziness happen here. Oh man! Shoot to kill and miss. That's the newbest. It is the noobest! <laughs> Alright, Bagdamagus. Your dumb dumb friend got you uh, evicted. You know what? Actually, in this battle, Bagdamagus was the smart one. Consider that. Bagdamagus was the smart one for this battle. Escalados gets turned into a duck. Oh, that's bad. That's very, very bad. That's very bad for them. They, the Escalados is good, good defensive knight. They should not have quested him at all for any reason. Should not have done it for any reason. I gotta see what's on the map here, though. Because Leonia could go out and fight. They might get attacked again. Um, they did pretty well for, you know, surviving that. <clears throat> the endless amounts of quests <laughs> we're gonna see for a while. Oh, man. Eventually, it will get smaller. 
Speedy boots! He found some speedy boots. Belgar gets stronger. Good for him. Carlotta gets stronger. I don't know. Oh, she got intelligence. That's even better. Even better. <clears throat> More ducks. To play with Daffy. Okay, they're actually making a surplus here. <laughs> they actually have a, a, a surplus here. They got three creatures. They have three creatures left. Raging Paul's one of them. We have Toe here, Totality. Was here the other night. Uh, Leoness has got up to level 18. Hunter Intelligence. She's quite bright. She's not a dummy. Kill off might actually turn into kill off might turn into a paladin with the way things are going here. Seriously, he's he's uh, he's whooping a lot of butt. But yeah, that's um, that was that. They they could um, they could have went with Aldus. They could have brought Aldus down. Do you see this? They went with just these two leaders. They could have taken Aldus. Could have taken Gilsus. Could have taken Ophelia. Could have taken any of these people here. Just as an addition to the party, and she had monsters too. Did not even bother. They, they didn't even bother with that. Look at this. Oh, let's look at the map here. It got pretty late. Look at this. Right budding next to each other. Budded up next to each other. Asgaris Empire and Leonia are, you know, sharing castles for warmth at night because it's quite cold up there. Um, they're getting they're getting cozy together here because it's you know they're just down to that. Um, you know what? This will actually help out uh, Duomechia if Carolyn can hold that. I don't know if they can hold all this though. That's like one, two, three, four, five castles. I don't think they can hold all of that. But I think temporarily right now this will make uh, Duomechia a little bit stronger for it. Just because they don't have to defend this right now because of Carolyn, so that could make Nomekia fight over here, over here, one of the two. Maybe a Scars will fight. Maybe a Scars will fight. Um... Well, you're still here, man. <laughs> you're over here, Pliskin. I don't know. I think a Scars has a little better chance of survival at the moment just because they actually have. Monsters, they have like a good a pile. It's half filled, but still, I mean, Kador and Zemeckis together is like one of the best bro force things you could ever see in a movie ever. You know, it's kind of like it's it's kind of like if you're watching The Expendables. You know, you see uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger with uh, with um, what's his face, Rambo, Stallone. Well, that, that's kind of the combo there they've got. So they're down to that. This is this is pretty awesome to look, to look at them. I don't know who's going to go down first, but they're both down to one castle. So Norgard. Vinard is not messing around anymore. Bliskin Five is still alive, doing good up here. They made a wow! Look at that. Level 10 Fafnir. Level 10 Fafnir. That's awesome. I think we're going to see Norgard get busy here. But we're probably going to see one of these two fight. Maybe lose. Maybe expand a little bit to the point that they do lose. Pliskin 6 the demon? That might have gotten killed off. I don't know. What what country do you, was it for? If you can tell me the country, I could probably find it. I I don't know. It might have been killed off. I wasn't I don't think I've been following that one. Yeah, man, I don't know, but one, 
It's it's either alive somewhere, hiding, or it was killed. Escalio? Oh, well, uh... Yeah, I don't remember, man. Uh, there is a level 7 imp here. There's a level 7 simp here. I mean, imp. I, I don't see it. <laughs> These fuckers. <laughs> There's a level 7 simp over here. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we'll call them Sims from now on instead of, <laughs> instead of Imps. <laughs> you do want to rename this Imp here? Or the, the Demon? We could just call them Demons, that's, that's what they were the whole time, really. Um, yeah, how's it going, Spikers? I, you are... Um, Spikers, if you were here, you are not here anymore. I don't know where you went. I, th I think Spikers may have kicked the, you know, the bucket somehow. I, I don't remember. Honestly, I don't. I, th or maybe there was, uh, oh, I think there was a breath attack that finished you off. I think, I think something like that happened. Yeah. It's good luck with fairy types. Um, I mean, Spikers, if you want the demon in Escalio, there is a level 7 demon in Escalio. I I think it was a giant salamander flame attack that knocked you out. I think that was it there. Yeah, I think that's what happened. Um, but yeah, look at the map here. We got, we're down to, this is literally it. This is where Ascaris is. This is where Leonia is. There's no more... They're down to just one castle, both of them. Um, all right, there there is some monsters here. There is a uh, there's level twenty six salamander here too. It's not named. So if you want a level twenty six Sally, you know. Um, I know, I know. It's crazy. She just she's hanging out on Lagres. She's got. She's actually making mana now because she doesn't have to hold on to too much. So she's plus positive. She's not in the orange. Um, except for Iscaris, which I think they probably are. Yeah, they're in minus 125 mana. So everything's probably going to be a little bit oranged out. I don't know how much though. Yeah, that's a little bit less, but yeah. Um, all right. Well, I'll give you the demon over down there. Uh, Totality Games was here last night. We, we, we got a win with Leonia on defense. Now it's up to Rock standards. Or, I mean, sorry, Phoenix standards. Which probably will be. Anyways, let's move on. New Elmechia. You have to try to hold this. You know? Fairies can be pretty bad at. I mean, Spikers, your your fairy lasted to like level 23 or 24. Uh, maybe Elmechia broke it. Um, I I was pretty sure that it was. Um, I think it was Ascaris. Came in with the Salamander. I think the Breath Attack killed it off eventually. I think that's what ended up happening there. Um, we already went by Escalio, I guess. Sorry. We'll have to wait till next time, Spikers. I forgot we were already past the, that part of the organization there. Just remind me next time if I forget, okay? Pretty sure it'll be alive, though. <laughs> Until then. They are definitely great at positioning. Let's see what ends up happening here. If the Empire comes after Leonia, or if Leonia goes after the Empire. 
Escaris Empire invades Logres. They want their Logres keep back. Guess who I'm playing for now? Guess which country I'm playing for here? Can you guess? Can you make a educated guess? I can pick anybody I want because I'm playing defense. Um, we're gonna go with Killoff. Yep, gotta play defense for Leonia here. I don't know why he's going all the way around that. It's gonna, it's gonna take him forever to get there. He definitely won't even get into the battle. Remember seeing the the charm happen? I think there was a charm on one of the the knights there. I keep forgetting, but what ended up happening too is that um, what ended up happening too is is that the fairies can do a counter thunderbolt attack too. Instead of the charm, they can do counter thunderbolts also. Maybe I should have picked Charlene here. Maybe she'd been a better call. Yeah. Oh well. I don't know if it'll matter much. I'm either gonna win or I'm gonna lose. That's how it's gonna play out. I'm gonna win or I'm gonna lose. If they put themselves in a terrible position and I can like just knock out some mechas, then get a you know good chance here <laughs> she wiped two of her own with Ross. <laughs> it's always funny when that kind of stuff happens I had one game where I uh, charmed Dinadan and Kai and they both kept fighting each other until Dinadan killed Kai off and helped me win the battle by them killing their own guys off when I was on defense. It was hysterical. I had two um, two options for charm. Like, at, No, actually one of them was a fairy attack that did the charm, and I think another one I had a, a charm spell that worked. Just barely, but... Alright, should I burn him now? Probably. If you're just gonna stay back there, I'm just gonna do this stuff to you. Goodbye! I'm just gonna kill your team off. <laughs> You're just gonna, like, sparsely, you know, f sprinkle it around here like some shredded cheese. I will shred your army just like the cheese you're trying to sprinkle on me. <laughs> Dude, that's just gonna go bye bye. He's still pretty good. Could have been a contender. Okay, well. Heal me! I think we're gonna have to move kill off though. Or. 
You know, we're gonna do this. This raging Paul's a good. Oh, green attack with a crit on a sound letter. Was it 248? Not bad. Not bad. Maybe we get a dragon hit here. We got nothing left, really. I might as well try to give her a shot. Okay, that sucked. Shoot, do I dare? Do I dare breath attack through my own guy? Sally is going to be hard to hit. That's true. Breath attack through my own guy. And then he can heal himself. Yeah, you could do an airy heal next turn and you'll be okay. I mean, it's going to hurt him a lot too. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Hey, man. Pretty cool. All right, time for Holy Word. This is a perfect uh, golden opportunity. I know I'm not hitting a leader, but I'm getting probably two kills here. Level 27 Salamander. They're going to hurt just for trying this sort of thing here. Yeah, it, it might be lights out once the Sally's gone. He's got Kador and... Oh my gosh, that did not kill it? I am thoroughly shocked. I can't believe she couldn't kill that thing with a holy word. What is this in thing's intelligence at? 64 and an anti-magic ring? Oh, does that make sense? Okay, I might have to sacrifice, dude, but... We have to get this thing gone. We have to get it gone. I'm not letting him hold on to that. Kill off might become a, a, a tragic event, but that thing's got to go. They're going to do... If that thing will do massive damage on, Leon, on Leoness if that's alive still. Ooh, baby. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. This is the reason I had it here, too. <laughs> Just in case this all turns out like this, I can get a nice, nice juicy airy heal. Right like that. Nice juicy airy heal. Very juicy. So juicy. Super juicy. It's making you think about getting some juice right now, I bet. Or, or some, I don't know. Could be, I don't know what it's making you think about. What is it making you think about? Could be anything, really. Um. Ah, oh, jeez. I don't know where to put this dude. Think. Look at. Alright. I think that should be good. He's <laughs> gonna sit there and keep shooting all day. Fine, go for it, man. You, you do you. You do you, bro. She hacked up a lung with that holy word. No, not kill off. Don't kill off my kill off. Yep, that one's dead too. This thing's dead too. It's all gonna die. You know, it's like it's like life. You only live for so long, and then you you, you die, and that's the them's the breaks. Level eight. I don't even have enough for all that. Heal. Good old kill off. And kill off's gonna heal himself up again. Because why not? Yum, 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 yum. What? <laughs> exactly the number I needed? Oh, man. <laughs> nope, we're just gonna stay right here. 
And their whole team is basically decimated. Kill off level 19. I thought Leonia was going to go first, but it very well could be the Empire, considering they only have two monsters left in their whole entire squad. That's it. He's going to get furious now. He's pissed. He's like, I'm furious. I want my castle back. I'm standing on the edge of my castle. I want my damn castle back. And he's, he's pissed. You can see it right there. He is super pissed. It doesn't matter. It does not matter. You can be as angry as you want, Zemeckis, but you are not taking his castle away from Leonette. She stole it from you fair and square, same way you stole it from the King Omekia, not so fair and square. You know, that that's that's the breaks. Them's the breaks right there. If they want to get to Leoness, they have to break through that dragon. But I has heals. Another holy word. Who would have thought? <laughs> 49. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> oh, you're so good at that holy word. And I think a lot of people have big appreciation for this. Very, very big. Alright, I need to come back a bit, protect her a little bit. Okay, he can't he can't just walk in there. Gonna wait. What can he do? What can he do? Bye bye. I think we have to break down Kador. Where's Zemeckis? One of the two. Puskin might die here too, man. <laughs> you might have to. Oh, he's running away. Ah, oh, Zemeckis, you got all puffy, 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 you know, puffed up, beat your chest like, like a big gorilla, and then you ran away. Ooh, big man. Big man. Look at that. He literally got furious at the edge of his castle and then ran away. <laughs> I mean, you could have tried to keep fighting, but... Yonia defends Lagres. Escalio invades Tora. Oh, what a day. And Escalio might actually knock out Leonia. That's what I'm... That's still my guess. I don't know if it'll even happen. This is a pitiful army. Dinadan... I don't know how I'm supposed to be Dinadan here, guys and gals. I, I don't know. He's He's got a healer. Unless Dinadan does something really stupid, puts himself out there get killed. Um, he's, he's got a healer. He's got a, a red dragon here. 
Pliskin, the sole survivor of Ascaris. Yeah, for now. We have to, if we have to fight a defense with Pliskin, Pliskin's gonna have to sacrifice himself for the for the cause, although it probably won't help very much. Because if Ascaris gets attacked now, they literally have just one monster left. That's it. That is all they got. We are probably definitely going to see a loss of a country here. I don't know if Leonia is going to go down very soon. It probably might take a, a few turns, but Eskar's Empire, they will go down. You cannot, you, you cannot just have one monster left and they'll just barely survive. It, it doesn't work that way, especially not with the other countries that are incoming with, with the strength of army uh, knights and monsters that they have. It just it won't happen that way. If we can get a win here, this would be ch pretty cheeky, though. It'd definitely be pretty cheeky. I, I, I just don't. I don't know. I don't see it. And yeah, she does have mana to summon more troops too. So she'll probably summon some more troops right now. She had a, a surplus of uh, 280 something, I think. Right? Wasn't that the uh, the number? Because she has the capital, and she only has like four monsters there, so she can get, you know, she can definitely summon something else if they want to. Yeah, I don't know how, I have no idea how I'm supposed to get this one here with my gun. Uh, if it, if Scalio, you need to give me more knights. What, what's up with this? You have enough knights. Goodbye, Miguel. Goodbye, Gallo. I don't think Gallo will, will stick this out. Foul cry makes sense. That's exactly what I've would done right at that point. Possible paralyzer would have been nice. Unfortunately, no. That's it. That's done. That's it. Okay, they tried. They failed. They tried and failed. That's about it. That's all we know. We have more battle. <laughs> Carleon's going into Salisbury. <laughs> If Carleon would go after the Empire, this would be quite rich to see that happen, you know? Ooh, that's a big army. That's, uh, that's a mucho grande army right there. You got Drist, Bagdamagus, and Victoria. That's not a bad team. That might be difficult. That might be very difficult. There's three rocks there, and it's... Uh, it's Ooh, this is going to be a tough win. If I can get this win, um, you'll have to praise my name in the Brigadine books forever and ever and ever. Just saying. I like Escalio's team a little better. That's basically what I'm saying right now. He's got MD. It'll be a fun fight, but it's going to be a tough fight. Marriott's not a very good match against Drist, uh, specifically. Not much is really a good match against Drist, I'll just tell you about it right now. It's sort of the way things are. Um, the only one that is a decent enough match against Drist is Vinard. Vinard is one of the best matches against Drist, but Drist still can like overpower him with just the sheer strength of the power that he has. I'll show you. Actually, let me show you right now. If, if anybody's new to this game, they're coming here, they're looking at this, they're like, well, yeah, he's got, you know, he's a mad tyrant. Um, he upgrades his attack, so his power goes up. It's at 135, and his, you know, uh, pre-move goes up to 190. So if you compare this to other leaders, this is higher than most rulers out there. It's It's higher. And this is because of a sword. He has this because of a sword. So Bagdamagus is a little higher, but that's because he has a sword on. If he didn't have a sword on, he wouldn't be higher than Drist right now. As soon as Drist goes up to um, Mad Tyrant, he gets a he gets an upgrade with the power. I think it goes up by five and by ten. 
Is this, I think this used to be 180 for power, and now it's 190, and this is 135. And I'm just saying, this is, this is the reason why he's better. And this too, good at getting critical hits, so he can critical attack more. So this is the why this is the reason why Drist is just a devastating frontliner, and you should use him in the front line and fight in the front line with him. Now, maybe don't put him in divine ray range, but you know, <laughs> keep him in, you know, keep him in the front lines. He he definitely needs to be there. That's that's where his um, that's where his stats are. Intelligence 73. So yeah, curse and flame aren't going to do all that much. He's better off fearing himself up. Better than Zemeckis actually. Anyways, I went on a rant, and now I'm done. <laughs> that would have been a stone. That would have been it. I would have had to leave. I would have had to leave right there. A ward and a protect spell on Bagdamagus. Are you are you trying to make this impossible for me to get a win here? Because I, I feel there's I feel like you're trying to do that. Now he's basically a brick house. I know. I he's 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 a brick house. Yeah, he basically is. Like he can't get hurt by magic with the ward, he can't get hurt by physical attacks with the protect spell, plus he's already a tank. Oh god. We lost. We lost. It, I know it's not that much damage, but still, like, Drist is in the front lines. He's right there. He's right there. He can do his perfect spiral, you know. <laughs> you were just singing that too. <laughs> yeah. He's just surrounded by it. like what's he gonna do? Will Meteor Doom get killed? I think that's what's gonna end up happening here. Or he's just gonna die. All these crits. Oh, the all them crits. Holy word! Ah. And yay! We got a little, a snappy, snappy man eater and mandrake in the forest here. Say goodbye to that demon. Oh, wait a second. We were going to name that demon there. Aw. Oh, spikers. Well, we did. Well, you didn't die. You almost died. You would have died. But you didn't, because we didn't get to name it. I, I We went, we were already past the Scalio. I couldn't do anything with the names. And, yeah. So, there. Yeah. Well, there you go. <laughs> Welp, we'll have to find you a better monster. We'll have to find you a monster that doesn't suck. How about that? Let's find you a monster that doesn't suck, and doesn't die immediately, and, you know, you live forever, or at least for, I don't know, maybe seven more episodes, and, you know, you'll, you'll live for a long time. Maybe we'll find you a monster that will live forever. Maybe we will. We'll look around and see if we can find a high-level uh, fairy or whatever, right? We'll, we'll have a look. We'll have a peek at all the castles. See what's out there. See what we can find that's, that's likely the, um, you know, the definite winner. But not the loser. The winner. We don't want any losers on our team, right? Because the losers, they just die. They don't they don't come back. They kind of do, but, di you know, different names and such. A frost attack? All right, cool. Wizard man, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, Kaleon. Yeah, I, I was just saying right off the bat, I loved, I, I loved what Escalio has right now, they've got it going on, you know? I just, I wasn't sure that I was going to really see a victory. I mean, I, you know, 
We got to see a battle, but yeah, that's definitely not a win. I don't even know why she's staying. I really don't. She could even kill that stupid rock. Well, the dog did the job, I guess. Turn four. I'm having him run. I'm not even going to have him stay. I'm having him run. Drist is right on top of Marriott. She can't survive this. I'm just having a run. You are my liege, Lord. Dear God, thank you, Streamlabs. <laughs> that was a little loud, wasn't it? <laughs> I know! That was a bit louder than it's supposed to be. I have everything kind of tuned down, and that, that was super loud. I think they must have, like, rebooted um, whatever, you know, they, their servers or something. They're like, just crank that shit up! You know, whatever sound effects you've got, it's like, put 200%. You know, I've seen that happen before. At least it'll wake you up. It's better than coffee. <laughs> <laughs> if you're like, if you're like, what, you're like about to fall asleep and you're like, oh, good. I can finally just, I can finally watch this, this Brigadine guy talk about Brigadine and play a Brigadine. I'm about to fall asleep. You're my liege lord! What the? <laughs> That'll wake you up in the, in the evening. <laughs> I know. Maybe I'll leave it that loud. <laughs> I'm just so that people are like, what? <laughs> so that that'll randomly happen every I don't know, 20, 40 minutes or so. But you know, Streamlabs literally does this by themselves. I actually I actually told them what to do with um, that in particular, and they have somebody that actually came by and did just that. They 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 typed in the exact thing that I asked if they would, you know, type in that just exclamation mark. You just do exclamation mark and space, you know, type anything in and bam. That'll happen again and again. We have a protected drift. I gotta get him out of there. I, I gotta get him out of it. I know it's turn four and I don't know why the hell you are even sticking this out this makes no sense how are you gonna be dressed with Bagdamagus and and a, a do all your angels divine rays are way back there not even in line to do any divine rays nothing like that you're you're, you're just doing silly stupid things like this whole army is gonna get slaughtered drist just has the power to punch through all this stuff here Drist doesn't have the power of Lysol, but he has the power of whoop-ass. He's, he's got a can of whoop-ass. That's what he's got. You know, it's basically like taking Lysol to, to you know, beat up, um, you know, Billy Badass. That's not going to happen. It's just not. Drist goes. Bring it on, Drist! Yeah, in this situation, he doesn't. If Drist was up against Beinart, I would say definitely pop the attack spell there. Maybe even Lance when his Lance is, like, finished out. You know? Maybe even then, too. But... Okay, that went way too fast. Oh, yuck. Yuck, yuck, yuck.
We'll just see if we can make, make the other leaders run away, or probably something, I guess. Yay! We are making statues of ourselves. That's what we do. Uh, okay. Oh, jeez. Yeah, they really can't do it. There's no dimension spell on the dog. Yay! I mean, maybe there's no, there's no, there's no way. If I had a divine ray, if I had a ray that was divine, maybe we could do something. But this is just silly. I know, it's a it's awesome spell, it's a lot of fun. That actually did help them out. The, the Skyler Wow! Oh that's right, he's got the frost edge. Jeez. Let's get you back in the battle. No, that's worthless. You gotta run. You gotta run. There's just no way you can win with this with this odds. If you had Janfer alive, you may be able to do something without him totally dead, like he is. There could be a chance, but <laughs> totally fumbled that chance. You fumbled that ball. The ball has, the ball hath been fumbled. Okay. Uh, who to fight though? Elil. Alright, we're just gonna Scorpion stab this guy in the back. Peace out. Boom, boom, boom. Go home, Carolyon. Go home. You're not welcome here. Drist, Drist has a, a nut. Oh, beware. Beware of rock sign on this castle beware of rock there there were there were three rocks but now there's just one so just beware of rock okay so we saw a very bungled offense for the umpire trying to take back his logris castle it um, did help out Leoness a lot. I don't think we lost anything with Leoness. They're still quite low on monsters and such. We might see a complete loss of Ascaris Empire. They might go down right fast because they have one monster left and just Jake Pliskin, who's chilling. Uh, if I can play it right, I might just, you know, play it so that Pliskin survives. He might still completely get, you know, taken out of the game, but you might survive. But we might actually see that Saraha, Myra and Malay, and uh, Helrado might move on to a new country after this. But let's look at this right here. The, uh, they have four monsters. They have 195. They're getting some mana here. They can buy a couple things. They can buy like an ice cream cone maybe. You know, uh, plop it on her head and lose the game. Um, I don't know. They could probably get maybe a centaur, possibly. 
know, we got kill off level 19, thousand points to go. Maybe next time I'll defend with her. Because, <laughs> uh... She's got... She's got legs. And she knows how to use them. Uh, she also has this phoenix here, which is, you know, big and red. That's nice, too. I like it. Um, I think we'll st I think we'll use her next time. But yeah, Pliskin, you got to level 20. So, congratulations. I don't know if the final battle, you'll survive that, Jake, there, but... I could try to save you. <laughs> but I don't know what they're going to do. They might... They might totally focus them down and then focus on the leaders, who knows. I'm probably going to bring Esmeri for the defensive battle here instead, just because heals and such, it's always a good thing to have. Um, but yeah, this is what this is what we're left with, Domain Rise, you know. Viscaris goes down, they're going to go down with 8,000 points left, I think. So they'll, they'll be in sixth place with 8,800 points, I think. Uh, New Mechia still holding on. Like a like a really really red dingleberry. Uh, I don't think that I don't think New Mechia is going to get knocked out anytime soon. I don't know why I get this feeling, but I, I think they're going to be in for quite some time. Uh, Spikers, we're gonna look for a fairy for you. If not, we could name you after the Stone Golem here or something like that. Maybe, maybe a Phoenix. Phoenixes seem to be all the rage. They seem to last forever. There is level four there. Okay, there is level 5 on Palamides that might survive. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to name you a phoenix there and also a fairy. I'm going to give you the name over here. names, two different countries, two competing countries, Nargard and Escalio. So there you go. There you go.
what do you got on Dilworth? Huh. Okay, so Scars has a... They're, they're positive now. Probably buy a horse, maybe. Or something like a horse. Well, I guess we gotta go with this team if that's what how they're setting me up, setting it up. They actually have some monsters here. Um, yeah, it's gonna be hard to kill them off. <laughs> they have some good, good stuff there. But we are going to definitely see some fights today. We're gonna see some fights like you wouldn't believe. Leonia invades Cadbury. They're getting revenge, but at what cost? At what cost? Leoness, kill off, Patterness. I get to play defense here. I don't think Leonia will survive this, simply due to the fact that I have Zemeckis here that can shoot nasty, sharp objects at her. Yeah, he is right. Kill off is right. Don't overdo it. <laughs> But since she's here, and it's not Kai or anything else, um, it's going to be very difficult for you guys to actually punch through here. Very difficult. I'm just going to pop theories all over the place here. Everybody is getting steamed. Well, good luck. I mean, not... <laughs> what happened to 5 and 6? This is the end, Pringer. I played defense. Full defense for the, for the uh, eventual loser. So, yeah. So don't side face me. You, you, you Pringer, don't side face me. How dare you, how dare you do that to me? I don't believe in such silly talk as such. <laughs> I don't know what that thing is, it's like looking over to the side like, how dare you? Something like that, you know? Um, you know, I'm just gonna keep Pliskin here as a side defense, so we keep Esmeri alive and such. But how you doing, man? Wait, should I do... Should I do some magic on myself? I think I should do Excel, because that'll help me move there faster, right? Or not. Man, we, we had an epic... We had an epic defense at Logres, and right at the end, Zemeckis gets all pissed off. He gets furious. He puts fury on himself. He's like, oh, I'm pissed. And then he leaves. <laughs> right at the gates of Logres, he was about to try to break through. He's pissed off, angry, and walks away. <laughs> that was all she wrote. <laughs> you know, I'm going to make uh, Pliskin furious as well. Why not? Make him all furious. Everybody gets a little bit of anger, a little bit of fury to go with their morning or nighttime coffee. I don't know what time it is for you right now. It's probably late. Ooh, what do you know? <laughs> 3.38. Oh! <laughs> Good idea, bad idea. Good idea. Put, <laughs> put Kador in the front. Bad idea. Put Leoness in the front. <laughs> I 
How dare they slap you in the face with an axe, my queen? Let me heal you now! Oh, thank you, Killoff! I really appreciate that! She's gonna harden herself up? I didn't think she could do that. Oh, that's right, that's why she has a green dot. That makes absolutely no sense why she has a green dot just because of one hardened spell. I mean, Kai doesn't have a white dot because he has a heal. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I don't get it. I really kind of sort of don't. Soro Stroke. Oh! No! Because he was overpowered. That's why. <laughs> he was OP with a Geno Flame and uh, Flame Attack, you know. I know, there goes his versatility. Uh, they probably thought he was just too overpowered for this kind of thing, you know, and uh, yeah, so I kind of did that like that. Spikers, you got back. You can also do exclamation BRB, and there's there is something that happens when you do that too. Um, I'll heal you, Kador. You murdering bastard. Thank you, Wench. Yeah. Oh, I. Uh, you didn't see it, but I named you one of the fa one of the fairies. I think with Palmighty's right now. I think it's with Palmighty's or Luintel, Um on Norgard's team, and also a Scalio. You are named after a Phoenix that's in a Scalio. It's another Phoenix that Scalio has as well. So you got two names, two different countries. So there's a better chance so you'll survive. Better doesn't necessarily mean guarantee, but you know. What are Kador spells? Well, he has curse, uh, which you're probably going to break toe here. Half a second. Oh my gosh! You charmed Pliskin. He went for a charms. What the? You went for a charm and now you're gonna kill it? What the hell are you doing? What was the whole point in that? Why would you charm it and then try to kill it? Pliskin, no! Pliskin down, level 20. Level 20 lizard guard. Yeah, uh... Could do dimension. Just kick his ass out of here. We're gonna try to keep Kador safe if we can. The new game has that set. Um, I don't remember Legend of Forcina with that. It's been a while since I played Legend for Cena with the charm thing, but it could very well be true. Kador has Dimension and he has Curse, so he has some of the best spells in the game that are those, but he did lose his he did lose his fiery side to him, so you know, he did lose that. Intelligence isn't bad. He's one of the best tanks in the game, bar none. He 
He could technically be better than uh, Dinadan as far as tanking goes. I use him in the like. I use him in the front lines a, a lot. Kador is like super powerful, and I, he's already like. He's he, what is he got like a hundred experience to get to level thirty as soon as you start fighting with him. He's really good to play as. He's really really good to play as. It's no, no joke there. So, yeah, they gave him the Sage Medal, so they gave him some extra uh, MP and Intelligence. But naturally, I think his Intelligence is like high 70s, which is pretty damn good. Agility is 83, that's pretty damn good. Uh, defense is already 135, and he has a little hit point recovery like, you know, Berserkers do. And you can see this power here for this is like insanely high. It's actually a little higher than uh, Drist Attack with Sorrow Stroke. And dude, I'm just saying, he is one of the absolute best tanks in the game. There's, I, unless he's getting Divine Raid a whole bunch, like he can kind of be safe in the front lines to some degree. So she doesn't have any magic left, so I don't have to worry about Divine Rays or any of that sneaky stuff here. Um, I'll probably take down this Tiamat here. If Leoness did not have a Protect spell on right now, I probably would put more damage into her. She saved her own ass <laughs> by doing that. She <laughs> literally did. I can't believe he went with a Charm spell, though. I'm very... I'm very kind of shocked he went with a charm spell. He could have done a frost, he could have done a heal. He could have done almost anything, really. He went with a charm spell. She knows the future. <laughs> if she knew the future, she wouldn't be in the front lines. <laughs> That's not helpful for her. Let's see here. Should I go with just a basic sorrow stroke attack here? That's 100%. Um... I gotta try to keep him alive. She's gonna have to do an area heal, I think. I just kick him off the field. I could punt him. I could punt him, but there's water here and he'll probably swim back. I think we have to try to kill it. Okay, that kind of sucked. Turn seven. Turn seven, and I'm not down yet. You see how this you can see the power in the bottom there. You see that powerful crossbow shot, pre-move only, power of 125, Gale Slicer, power of 130. His physical attack with his sword is actually stronger than his bow attack. So if you're ever like right next to somebody, you can choose to do the bow attack, but it's actually weaker. It, it has a little better, you, you see how the, the sky is a circle? That means you have a better chance of hitting it if it's a sky creature. Okay, sure. But if you have to go with like power difference, his basic Gale Slicer is stronger by five. So not a huge amount, but obviously, as you can see, just enough. <laughs> just enough to take care of business. <laughs> I can't believe Leonia came in here to do this. I thought it was gonna be Carolion. Carleon could have easily wiped me out here. Easily. It really does, though. It really does. It's the effectiveness. That's why the circle and... And triangle are there, man. He's 
heal herself or heal up Kador. Oh man. I think we gotta heal up Kador. Okay, okay, all right. I gotcha, I gotcha. I uh, I might have to walk back to the castle. He might try to castle steal me at this point. Oh, ow! Right in the side. Oh, geez. Now I can't walk back to the castle. Oh my gosh. They're trapped. They trapped. Uh, they trapped me down here. Oh my gosh! Crit. Oh, Zemeckis, you turd. <laughs> hey man, sometimes I get confused. <laughs> it can happen. Level 20 queen. Leonia at Cadbury victory. Scarus Empire is gone. I don't think even if I stayed on the castle, it would have mattered really. I don't think it would have mattered. Somebody, even Carrion, would have come here and knocked it out. Under the... It, what looks like the compass, or... Arrow Rune, Viscaris Empire fades in the fa pages of history. Fiel joins Leonia. Ivan joins Leonia. Carrion <laughs> invades Slongress. <laughs> now Leonia's down to one monster here. Does it really matter? Ah. <sighs> well, we are playing for Carolion here. Leonia has two castles.
Got an easy win for Carleon. Leonia got their, their wish to take out Zemeckis. Zemeckis is lost. Iskaris Empire is broken because of Leonia. Who would have thought that? I thought Iskalia was going to take out Iskaris Empire. Carleon had a good chance. Carleon didn't even try. They didn't even try. They had a couple chances. It's been Leonia versus uh, uh, Iskaris Empire like the past three or four attacks. I think Neomechia tried against Leonia once, but that was kind of an epic fail. Raging Thunder? Oh, we're going to see some Raging Thunder. Uh, Pringer, I think your monster got uh, a little a little dead some time ago. If you want a new one, we can look through some stuff. I wonder if we're going to see some quests for the Empire here. Just a little bit dead. You know, we could fix it somehow. You know, we can find a way to fix that. I wonder if we're going to see any quests from Escars, though. Rimlet. Batter kiss? Yeah, there wasn't much, there wasn't really hardly any way I could defend. Even if I had Zemeckis on a castle, shoot down Leoness, if I had the, you know, if I got a couple of those chances to knock out Leoness, Kirlian would have came back with a full army and knocked him out too. One of, anybody would have knocked out uh, Zemeckis at this point. You got one monster left. <laughs> what are you going to do? <laughs> Hilrado joins Neomechia? Oh my gosh. Does Kerleon get any guys? Kerleon still didn't get a single freaking knight? They're the ones that need it. Look at Neomechia. They have 30 knights. They have 30 knights and they're doing terrible. Kerleon only has 10 knights still. The Kerleon cannot field a full, full army of four. Uh, they cannot field an army of four. Yet, Neomechia, with one of the career almost totally broken country, has 30 knights. But they cannot... They, I don't know. I know, they're not that threatening anymore. And it's that's the truth. That's the honest truth about it. They're not. Um, Zemeckis is still, like, you know, he, he can be a powerhouse. Skador can still be quite strong too, but like he's not the, uh, you know, he's not the boss like he was in the original one. He's not, he's not the super boss. So people thinking like, you know, yeah, I'm going to play as Iskaris Empire and they're going to be really, really, really awesome. Well, I mean, you got a couple powerful knights, but other than that, most of their knights kind of suck and they don't get as good a growth. Yeah, no longer the Don. No, not definitely not. He's um, I choose Drist o over Zemeckis any day in this version. Drist over Zemeckis any day, just because Drist gets that plus ten percent critical. I know that Zemeckis has a counter damage percentage, but that means he has to get hit. So you need a healer with him in order to work on that extra counter damage that he's going to do. Plus, he's only he only has a power of one hundred and thirty. Driss is up to 190, or 195, or yeah, he's like 195 maxed out with his pre-move. Driss just has way better power, he's just a better knight overall. Um, yeah, Scarce Empire, they're, they're done, they're down to 8,297, that is their final score, that will be at the end, you'll get to see that score at the end, I think, uh, but they're gone. 
They're gone. Carleon, Leonia is still there. If Leonia goes out now, they'll have a 20,000 point score. So even if they lose, they'll still get to keep... I don't know, maybe that will be down to a thousand, you know, 10,900 10, something, but they'll still have like a super, super good score. <laughs> like a fart in the wind, yeah, they're pretty much gone. And Leonia, they burned, you know, to try to help, you know, defend. I was trying to kill off some monsters, see if they'll run. They, they didn't run. Raging Paul uh, is all that's left here for Leonia. Now it's gonna, now it's gonna happen the same exact way. They broke down the Empire Cadbury, and someone's gonna break them down in Cadbury too. Whether it's Carleon or Neomechia, Neomechia's Neomechia's packed and ready to go. But Neomechia could go run in there. Um, but yeah, Brigger, do you want a monster uh, named here? We have a Stone Golem here. Uh, there are some, there are some uh, imps, or as I previously called one of them, there, there are some simps uh, here too. <laughs> What's Dinadan's class? He is Knight Master. So Dinadan, my favorite dude, wherever the heck he is. He's a knight master, so, you know, there, Kador's a death knight, Dindadan's a knight master. He's basically Kador's match uh, in this kind of game here. Uh, Kador would be better than him if he had a red dot, because Dindadan is a green dot. But, um, yeah. He's called knight master initially, but he's blade master here. And you can see his intelligence is about the same as Kador's. Agility is higher than Kador's. Uh, defense is because of the little pirate earring thing that he's got, that's why it's yellow. So whenever you see yellow numbers up there, basically means uh, he's got equipment that's boosting those stats. So whenever you see, like, the stats up there, one of them's glowing yellow, it's because of the item that he's, or that should be called equipment there instead of item, I don't know why they, the translator did that, but. Uh, we look at power score. You can see that Kador still has a higher power ranking with like, what, 195? Soul Invictus, 130, this is 185. Uh, the only difference is like, we got, you know, you can... Uh, Dinadan could parry half the attacks. Dinadan could parry an attack from Kador and just, you know, it reduces the damage to 33. 33%, so 25% of the time, which is almost like, let's be honest, it's close to half the time. He'll parry an attack, reduce the damage, 33% of the damage, and then he can cut down arrows just like a Shogun. He's got heal, cleanse, and bolt. I mean, this guy comes fairly well packed with a lot of goodies, you know? And then that, that's because of the piece of uh, gear there, resist plus two blue, so that's good for him. But, like, the Blade Master here is fairly well comparable to Kador. It's like, you know, it's like the polar opposites, the good versus the bad. And, uh, yeah, it's, that's why he's one of the best knights in the game. Um, but, yeah, I, <laughs> I'm i pretty sure Neomechia is going to come over here and just slap them around because there's nothing left. Raging Paul might get crushed. <laughs> he's the one you hate fighting against. He is a tough, he's a tough some, some, some bitch fight. He really is. He is tough. Look at that. Kaleon, uh... I don't know what they're doing with that. I don't know why they even put that in the back. Pringer, do you want a monster somewhere? We, we have some monsters we can name. Um... <laughs> you think so, hey? Uh, let's see what new Mechia has here. There is a stone golem if you want, Pringer. There's that there. It's a good... Good... Solid... Stone Golem. You don't want to reincarnate again? I, you know, I could name all the ghouls after you. You know? I could do that. I think when I was doing some of the challenges there... Um, you are my liege, Lord. Thank you. Um, <laughs> when we were doing some of the challenges with, with, um, with Val in the past, um, <laughs> I named all the ghouls after him, or all the stone golems after him, because he's like, no, I don't want to name him. I'm like, I'm naming you after something. He's like, go ahead, do whatever. 
Named him after all the golems, or the ghouls. I can't remember which one it was. I think it was, I named him after all the, all the golems. That's what I did. Yeah. All the extra clay golems. And then I, I put him on the field and I had to go kill them all. Because I didn't really need them. <laughs> and they were experienced. <laughs> you don't want to be shortlist times infinity? Well then come on, man. Give me a name somewhere. Let, let's, let's pick a name that you'll probably survive. There is a Hydra. There is a Rock. If you want a, a Phoenix, is actually seem to be surviving pretty well. You'd be noobing here. Maybe not so much a noob, but, you know. Unless you want to be a noob. It's your choice, though. Everybody has choices in life, you know? You can be a noob if you want to. You can, uh... Noob those friends of mine, but if you don't noob, the well, then you don't noob, and you're no know, friend of mine. There is a fire drake here. Anything with regeneration will survive. What about the fire drake over here? There's a big, red, nasty dragon thingy. There's a pixie. You know, we could make you a level 9 merman. Stone golem getting close to 20? I don't know. Is it? Where is it? I forgot where it was. Well, it's level 12. Yeah, the 18 one uh, did get uh, crushed in one of the battles, which is very unfortunate. Din and Dan was down south. He did a really stupid thing. Got himself killed, and then it, it you know, it was left there, and they, they just ate it up. But, but, you could survive. Uh, who has the Fafnir level 10? Ooh, yeah, that's a cheeky thing. I think that might be Kerleon or Scalio. There is a cheeky uh, level 10 Fafnir floating around here. I did see that. I don't know if we saw a battle where it got killed, but I did see that. So there you are, Spikers. You're a Phoenix here, and you are a fairy over yonder. Right there. So, there you go. You got two things. Jean Grey is still alive. There is a level 10 there. I think Escalio or Carleon has the uh, Mr. Goldar God pretty high. Um, okay, let's try to let's, let's focus. There is level 12 Fenrir. Midwest. Yeah. We'll, we'll we'll try to find it. I'm sure it's I'm sure it's alive. I don't I don't remember seeing it die. I don't think Norgard has it though. I really don't think it's in Norgard. There's the there's Falcor. I can't remember who named Falcor is there. Oh, there's a le there's a level 10 fairy here. Uh, if you want that too, Spikers. There's called Crowlit. Unless you don't care. It's, you know, whatever. There it is. Lance has it. I'll take all the fairy. Okay, okay. Uh, we are on Norgard right now. Okay, you're gonna be with Nuomechia then, Pringer. So congratulations, go, go Team Red. Go Team Red. It's kind of fun watching uh, Nuomechia try to try to come back from this. They were, they've been down and out. They've been down to one castle two times. Two times already, and they regrew themselves. Leonia just couldn't handle it. Just couldn't handle it. See if he's worthy. Are you worthy, Prince Lance? Well, you're level 22, and you have 710 hit points, strength of 95, intelligence 95, agility 95. He's looking more and more like a badass every day. I would have to say. But, uh, yeah, his attack power is not that great, so I think he needs to become a king in order for this to boost. He does have accuracy, though. 
Yeah, you you already know that, dude. Like, ah, oh, Pringer. How many times have I been telling you that? <laughs> you already knew that. Because the bolt attacks are green in this game. You don't don't play games with me, man. Don't don't play games with me. I told you this the other day. Maybe you forgot, but let me remind you. Lance is green. <laughs> I didn't even know he had, but yes, he has Bolt. If he becomes king, he has Geno Bolt. And then I think this goes up a little bit. Now, this isn't all that strong, but considering the agility is 97, he, intelligence high, 95, his Bolt attacks are going to hurt a lot. Like a Kai Bolt attack, they will hurt. His heals good, he can dodge things. I mean, you get Lance up to level 30 and then you know, we're going to have some contention against uh, Drist. Drist might, you know, still overpower him, but he's still very, he's going to be very good. Lance will take down Vinard probably soon enough. Maybe even at this level now, just because of the agility he's got. Anyways, I want to see what kind of equipments they've got. Let's see if they got it all yet. Got the flame bow. They do have a heaven bow. I wonder if they gave... Uh... I need food. Okay. You know, that's funny. I just had soup today, too. But the soup I had tasted terrible, so I didn't, eat, I didn't finish it. Um, Alright, we're going to go to Norgard. We're going to get that uh, fairy named for Spikers. Wait, was that going over here? Where did it go? Man, now I'm forgetting where all these things are. Spikers, where was that fairy? Oh, right there. Yep, this is with Norgard. All right, we'll move on here. Okay. You shall not die today, Spikers. I've been waiting for Norgo to do something, and they just have not been doing much of anything. They're just kind of like sitting in the shadows, just waiting for their time to strike, even though months and years have gone by. We're just waiting. We're just, we're just gonna wait here for the perfect moment. Right, right. Stuff's happening in, uh, in Forcina. Vinard, stuff's happening. He's just, he's just hanging out, just watching. He's like, I, I, I got this, I got this. Just, just hold, just hold on, just hold on. You know, uh, a few more months, and we'll, we'll go out and fight. I, I promise you guys, I promise you, we'll go out and fight. A couple more months. Just, just wait until, uh, just, just wait until Leonia's gone. Maybe, maybe next year. Yeah, I was gonna say that. Maybe, maybe next year we'll wait. And we'll be ready at that point. So, so yeah, so there's that. You know? I think we're going to see Leonia go down here, though. That is... I mean, she literally ended up in the exact same position as Zemeckis. Down to one monster at the same castle. What can she do? I, I I would like to see I would like to see Kai come in and finish this up here. I don't know if that'll be a thing, but I would like to see that. I think that would make so much sense. New Mechia could do the deed too. Um Oh yeah, and look at this too. He's still called Prince. Why is he still called Prince? Because Lance did not stay on Lagras when Zemeckis went down. That's why Lance is still a prince, and he will always be a prince. Not a pauper, but he'll always be a prince, never a king. So if you're playing this game, and you want to know how to get king, you have to keep Lance on Lagras when Zemeckis goes down. 
It doesn't matter who, kicked, who kills Zemeckis. He's still a prince because he wasn't on Logres. He didn't take control of his capital where the crown is at. So there was no coronation. So this is why he also does not get Gina Bolt right now. And he will not get Gina Bolt for the rest of this uh, playthrough. It's because he has to be on Logres where he was to be crowned, where the crown is. And then Zemeckis has to die in order for the people to go, Yay! You took down the tyrant. We're going to put a crown on your head. And you usually don't like see any fanfare with the multiplayer, but that's typically what happens in a game and all that. But yeah, um, gets to have his crown back. But because his ally's sitting on a capital, he does not get to become a king because <laughs> Kai's there. And Kai's not going to be like, uh, here's your crown, I guess. Yeah, I'm already a king. Why am I giving you a crown? I don't care about that. So, even though he's an ally, they're not, like, super besties or anything like that. They're just kind of like, hey, let's team up here. Yeah, I like your food. I like your food, too. Can we both eat each other's foods? Oh, that's awesome. Okay, let's be allies. Hey, that's that's a great idea. That was essentially the whole dialogue right there. Uh, I'm, I'm not kidding. <laughs> Okay, maybe I've exaggerated it a little bit. I tweaked it just a little bit, but it's almost just like that, you know? And uh, that, that's that's almost, that's as, almost literally the gist of it. Um, will Norgard fight in here? I don't know, I don't think they're going to try. Carleon invades Cadbury. Oh, finally, finally. Never thought, never knew that thought he got automatically after Zemeckis died. You have to be on a capital with New Omechia. Uh, this is something that I think not everybody's fully aware of, but also the fact is, it doesn't have to be yourself or your ally. It sounded spot on to you. Well, that's great, because <laughs> Pringer kind of knows this. But um, you don't... The thing is, I have seen... Um, in one of the playthroughs, I was playing Neomechia, and I think it was Leonia or some other country that did kill off Ascaris Empire, and I had Lance on the capital, on Lagres, and right after that, Lance becomes king. So Lance has to be planted on Lagres pretty much the whole time, defending it, and you got to knock out Zemeckis. And then after that, then you can kind of, like, do whatever you want, you know. But... I think we're going to see an end to Leonia here today, everybody. What do you think? Raging Paul's going to be pissed. Actually, I don't think he's going to care. Um, maybe he'll be pissed, though, because he's probably going to die fighting for his cause. <laughs> die, fighting, die fighting for Leoness. <laughs> All right, so, we're, so this is the final castle. This is the final keep. I get to play for... I get to play for... The defense here. It's gonna be tough. To war. That's a big army. That's... That's a spicy meter ball! Or something like that, right? Okay, um... I don't know if I need a protect spell on myself, but I might. I like breaking that alliance in a place red or green. I think a lot of people do. I think if we broke the alliance with them, New Mecha would be would have been gone, like, almost immediately. And I don't know how Carleon would have fared. It's possible uh, the Empire might have risen up and maybe won if there wasn't that alliance. I think that alliance helped uh, break down the Empire. I think if not that alliance, the Empire could potentially win. What the hell are you doing, man? I did not press auto on you. I didn't remember pressing auto on you. Maybe I accidentally did that. You are my liege, Lord. Streamlabs. 
Would you stop doing that every 10 seconds now? <laughs> uh, Alright, we're gonna... We're, we're just gonna wait here. You were ready for it that time, were you? <laughs> There is somebody at Streamlabs that is actually doing that because in the past I asked them to do that and they did it and by doggone it, they're just going to keep doing it again. I, I don't mind if you do it every once in a while, Streamlabs guy, but, you know, like, maybe once an hour or two hours or something. Just asking. I'm asking for a friend. That's all. Um... Yeah. Let's see here. Uh, we got kill off as a paladin. Can you believe that? Can you believe this here? I never seen kill off as a paladin before. Intelligence still kind of sucks. Um, Should have been a berserker. He did make it to paladin. He's got the Leviathan sword, which is very powerful. It's uh, I think a triple red sword. He's got a large shield. So he's got some more D, I guess. Um, oh no, just, uh, shield block goes up, I believe. Yeah, shield block goes up. And he's got shield block. Yep. So, he did it. Agility's not terrible. I mean, it's almost 80. I don't know, I prefer him as an Avenger, but whatever. I know, it's crazy, hey? Uh, do we have to deal... Oh, yeah, we do have to deal with armies over here. It's gonna be so hard to survive this. I don't think we can. And have to use every heal imaginable. And even with that, I don't I don't know if it's gonna matter. Right, you You stay back here, dummy. I don't know if it's worth a divine ray one centaur. pretty good amount. Oh, okay, well. Maybe we do enough holy words to break down the army. We do have a certain amount of them. Oh, jeez. Sardine might go down. <laughs> we might even survive this. If I can pump enough holy wars in here. survive this would be hysterical <laughs> considering <laughs> overwhelming odds and we could still win with Leonia I would be totally shocked
I'm not so sure though. I don't know. It really depends on how long the pattern is can hold up for. He already did two Geno bolts. That's really all he can do. There is a Meteor Doom possibly incoming, though. Dude is agile. See how many times he, he missed attack? He just dodged all those attacks? Do I need a healing word? Uh, kinda do. He is level 30. But yeah, it's kinda true, yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's level 30. I I know that, man. I know that. <laughs> Alright, we'll try to just try it. We're just gonna keep on keeping on. We're gonna try to stay alive here. Um, wow. Well, I. Stay alive, everybody! Stay alive! I'm just keeping them alive as long as I can. Will, will you go away, nasty Kerleonites? Here, I, I, I'm trying to. I'm trying to live. I just want. I just want to live in peace in Cadbury, with my with my raging phoenix, and my Leoness Queenie. That's all I want to do. I want a peaceful life. And I just want to call it here. I don't. I don't want to have to die. Can can we not go with all the killing and stuff, guys? I don't know if they're listening to me. Yeah, yeah. they kind of are, in a way. Well, I don't think that's enough, but... I don't know if it's worth doing all this holy word. I wonder if I just sit. But the fact is, if I just sit here and heal the whole time, it's like, well, what am I gonna do? I, you know, I can't do that forever. Ooh, that was a juicy one. Oh crap! Forgot he could go that far. But she is on a castle still, so maybe we'll not be too bad off. Oh good, no purple candies there. Kill off needs to pull off this back win here. I'm gonna try to knock her out with a, a powerful attack here. I, I have to go for the more powerful attack, or I really kinda do. Patternus is just uh, you know. Is there a point to moving? Well, it would keep me from getting hit, maybe. I know. Mr. Goldark, this might be the very, very end of Leonia here. And the I don't know how long you've been here, Mr. Goldark, but this has, uh, the Empire died here this very same way. Leonia came in and broke all their toys and killed them off, and that was that. Uh, I'm just gonna wait. Wait, he has 192. Can he do another Geno Bolt again? What does Kai have? Does Kai have extra? Did did Kai suck down a bunch of MP potions here? Because he already did two Geno Bolts. 
Look at that. He's 578. He must have been su he must have been sucking down MP potions. That's that's quite high. It's good for him, but Can we survive today? Oh no, Sardine might knock her out. Or or this this thing will. Oh no. <laughs> Shield blocked Lilith Faith. <laughs> Shield blocked Lilith Faith. I didn't know that was even possible. It's a light attack. You I didn't know you could put a shield and and block a, a ray, a ray beam of hope. Oh no. Yep, there's a two hits there. Oh no, she's almost gone. Flame attack. What a wonderful spell, uh, man. That uh, sensor is eyeballing her. He might be. I don't know what he's gonna do. He might shoot Patternus. That's why Patternus is kind of out there. Is like a bit of a dummy. If Raging Paul comes out of this alive, I would laugh. I would laugh very, very hard. Go and capture Raging Paul. We are in some serious stuff here, guys. Fighting light. Oh, jeez, that sucks. I could Divine Ray her, but it wouldn't matter. I'm going for it. This is our final attack. I'm going for it. Oh! That was enough. Sorry, Cortina, but kill off. Had to kill you off. <laughs> we have to try to survive with, with her. Heal me, please. If we survive this, this would be nuts. Here, let me give you a heal spell here, you little garmer. No! Pattern is down. Oh! Phoenix is gone. Raging Paul is gone. Not Patty. Not dear old Patty. Patternuts has been destroyed. It's over. Nothing's over. I just need another drink. <laughs> Hey, she got the 21. She intelligence plus one, agility plus one, hit points, MP, and room power plus five. Awesome. Or not. No! Leonia is... has been crushed. Squall, the Squall Bangle has been looted. Ding dong, the witch is dead, witch oh witch. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. Sorry, Leonia. Sorry, Leonia. I was kind of rooting for you for a long time, actually. I really was. They covered almost the entire western half of the map some time ago. Uh, literally last year in game time. They covered the whole western side of the map, and then Norgar just started crushing it, going in there like, get out of here, this is my territory now. Scalio took a little piece of it too. Um, yeah, but I'm, I'm surprised Leonia fell here. They fell here at Cadbury of all places. I would have thought that they would have fallen in their own keep, you know, with their capital, but they got a little aggressive, pushed out. Congratulations, Carolion, for a well fought win. Cadbury is cursed. Two countries have been destroyed right here. Just today? <laughs> I always call it the Cadbury Bunny place. This is where you get all your eggs from. 
But you are my liege lord. Streamlabs, damn it. I told you. Wait an hour. But thank you. <laughs> Month 12, year 219 of the Holy King under the... I forgot what rune that is. That's that. Uh... Oh, dang it. Well, looks like the fish rune. Uh, Leonia fades the pages of history. Neville joins. Carleon actually gets some knights. They're at 10 knights. Now they're up to 11. Leonel joins Carleon. They're up to 12. They can field four teams now. Carleon can field four teams with all that mana that they have. Oh, man. They're going to get quite nasty. Chantel joins too. That's good. Langeborg joins. That's not good. At Alicia quests, Carleon is going to turn some heads now. They actually have some extra knights to, to field, so they can actually go out and fight more. They got Leonel. Leonel's already a Shogun. Did you know that, Pringer? Leonel's up to Shogun status right now. Now that they can field four armies, because, they, because before they only had ten knights, right? So if you try to add up all those numbers, you got three, three, uh, three and three... You know, you got six and three more, you get uh, nine, so you got three armies. And then the last set can only hold like two knights. But now they can actually cover four spaces, four castles. No, they had ten. They only had ten. They only had ten knights for the longest time. Now they just gained four extra knights on top of their ten, so they're at fourteen. So they have a couple of spare to run around with. We'll look at it again, but I'm pretty sure it was they only had 10 knights like the longest time. They never had any extra knights to move around. Like, everybody else got all these quest knights. And Carleon, that's why Carleon's always kind of just getting stuck, you know, trying to push forward. But it's like, you know, they got that uh, stall. They got that car that stalls every once in a while. It's like, oh, you can't get any further because you don't have enough knights to field. And, you know, we're getting beat up. Um, no, they did not get Mila. They did not get Gush. Oh, no, no, they have Mila, but Mila never went on a quest. So Mila never went on a quest to get Gush, Lakara, or Elliot. Yes, I know that. I know that. But they, they never sent Mila out to quest. Mila is actually in Lakara's standards right now. She is uh, she's a mystic. So she's been fighting, like, the whole time. Because they couldn't really go out and quest too much. So they, you know, because they needed all their knights to go and fight. So they never put her on quest. Maybe they'll put her on quest now. Maybe they'll get those extra knights. But you're 100% you're right. That's typically how they get that. But they never put her on quest. Which is unfortunate. That's why they've been at 10 knights this whole entire time. This whole entire time I've been playing this. Which is like... Why are you just... Like, I could purposely, like, force her to go out quest to try to do it. But then, you know, then I'm kind of manipulating the game a little too much. So, you know, I'm not going to do that. Isophis joins Escalio. The irony of this. Oh my gosh, can you believe this? Isophis joins Escalio. That is going to make Drist super powerful. He's going to be kicking some butt with Isophis on his team. He's already a guardian. Charlene joins. Oh man. Escalio got some good knights there. They got some good knights. Let's look at this. So, Neville's there. This is good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's probably good. Neville came over here. He's, you know, kind of a solid druid. 90 intelligence, not bad. I know it's because of the stick, but, you know, that's that's still pretty good. Uh, see, Leonel's here. Leonel came over to Carleon. Carleon needed some frontliners like you wouldn't believe. They really do. I mean, they got Dinadan and Shast, sure, but everything else is a mage, practically. They got Leonel, so that, that'll be good for them. Here, um... And they got Langeborg. You know, he's gotta go somewhere. I thought he was gonna go to Escalio, because he usually does. Whenever I'm playing, he usually goes to Escalio. Alright, so let's look at this. See? See, man? We got four knights with this, um... with this Leonia loss. So, you see the Carleon Knights right there? 14. So they were at 10 the whole time. They they don't have those extra quest knights. Maybe they will now. Maybe Melia will actually go on quest and they'll... And maybe they'll acquire that stuff. Um, yeah. Now they have 14. Now they can actually field... 
a little bit better here. So, let's look at the map. We have no light blue anymore. We are down to almost three colors if Numekia survives this. If they survive this, it's, uh, I, I don't, I don't know. They're going to have to fight Norgard, essentially. They can't fight anybody else. Kerleon has to fight Escalio. Escalio has to fight Kerleon and Norgard, and Norgard has to fight, well, they could try fighting here, but Norgard has to fight Neomechia. Leonia lost with a power score of 19,000. 348. They're out of the game. So, Escalio got some extra knights. Let's look at let's look at this here. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Isfis, level 24 guardian. Do it is good. And Charlene's a Valkyrie too, so Charlene with Iria as a team up. Oh my gosh, that's gonna be beautiful. There's Daffy here. I think uh, Totality was a big fan of Daffy. Daffy's getting close to Shogun standards. Uh, they did get Raisin. Raisin is okay. Uh, and Lucia, she's got the flame bow. But a team like this, Driss is going to have a heck of a good time. So, I don't know what's going to happen, but Kaerleon, if they do push out, they can push out hard. They don't have to, you know, defend with one or two knights anymore. They can push out hard. See, here's Melia. She's been fighting this whole time, Pringer. She's been fighting this whole time right here. Oh, yeah, Drist is super tiring. He is super tiring. As soon as you hit level 30, you automatically are. Um... But yeah, she's close enough to change him. Yeah, Driss is super tyrant. See, it's mad tyrant in here. You get Chaos Scythe and Perfect Spiral, so you can see the power scores are high. There's Meteor Doom. Gets a Dwindle spell and Meteor Doom. He doesn't have the MP. They, he never has the MP. They got. He has to suck down some potions to get the Meteor Doom. He, you always have to get like one or two magic potions to do it. And if they get them and they feed it to him, he could become the Meteor Doom guy. But that's the uh, that's the big trick about this game. You think he's got? You know, you get him level 30, you get Meteor Doom. You do, but you have to drink potions in order to be able to use it. So, that's the little sneaky trick they, they pull on the players here. That is the sneaky trick that they did pull on the players here, because you never... Um, I, I, I don't know, maybe you've seen it before, but I've never seen him grow with enough MP to have Meteor Doom at the end of the game. I've never seen it just naturally happen. It's always about this range, it's like 240, 230-something, uh, but it's never, and it's just never enough to get, because, you, you know, 255. You know? I've never seen that, though. I don't know if you've ever seen it. Save Scum? Maybe. I don't know if you, I don't know if you can save Scum. The, the numbers might be fixed as soon as you get a level up. But if you want to try that, dude, definitely give it a try and, you know, show me a screen pick of some kind on Discord, I think. It'd be cool to see if you could do it. I don't think you can. I'm, I'm a, like... I'm a bit of a doubting Thomas on this. I don't think you can naturally get him a Meteor Doom. I don't... I I just... I'd have to see some pictures or, like, you know, someone getting just, like, 256 MP. Just barely. Just to get it. But I've never been able to... It's always come down to drinking a potion or two, and then, you know, then you got it. But anyways, let's move on. Let's see what happens here. This is going to be more exciting now with more difficult, difficult battles. But you know what? You see how the map looks very similar to how it does in Timeline 2? 
Uh, except that Escalio usually has this. And Norgard kind of has most of this here. It's, it's very similar to Timeline 2. Not exactly. I mean, Duomechia is still around. But it's very similar. Norgard's making a good bonus now. I wonder what he's gonna... I wonder what Kai's gonna use. Maybe he's just gonna level up Marriott now? He could. It's not a bad idea. I gotta look at this for a second. He's got... Defend one, two, three, four, and he has the knights to do so. If if Kai fights back here and pushes in here, he could save Neomechia. Kai could single-handedly save Neomechia, but then Kai would just like move all over here. <laughs> oh man, we're gonna see a power struggle over here. We're going to definitely see Power Struggle. Falcor is going to get involved. Vinard's here. Uh, we got Lance up here with with a Lapis on the Thor. Pringer's here, level 10. With also a Lapis! I didn't even know. Pringer, you have a Lapis on you right now. I didn't see that. Did you see that? Because I just saw that right now. Two Lapises on Neomechia. So random. The two, there's. Oh man, it's gonna make. If Feinard wants to fight this, he's gonna have a hell of a time. <laughs> he will have a hell of a time. Okay, it looks like they're just re reshuffling right now. I wonder what the defense is gonna be like. Okay, that's okay. Shasta's level 21 champion. I wish they would have kept the, the colors of the I like the black I like the black pants and the red shirt look for the champion. The champions here don't look all as, as good as the originals. Original champion looks pretty badass. Um what the hell are you doing with this kind of a team? <laughs> I like scorpions and all, but this isn't a scorpion challenge right here. That's not a very good You got Lionel here. But you got Langaborg. Got Langaborg here with Dinadan. Right. Right. I, th I think Driss will come in. I think Driss is going to come in. Come knocking on the door. Knock, knock, knocking on Carolyon's door right there. It's so funny. Aldus came to Escalio and immediately they went to the battle and the Pyro died in the very first battle. It was the funniest and most shameful thing to ever see. Norgard invades Aston. Norgard was waiting in the wings until Leonia and Iskar's Empire were gone before they actually did anything. I mean, yeah, they did do some fights and stuff, but they, they've been just, oh, they're just kind of sitting around on their bum for quite a long time. If you get just MP gain to six, he would end up with 256? Really? So he had, but he has to get the perfect gains the whole time, right? Probably does. That, that's that's gonna the joke too, because you just never Unless you had a perfect unless you save scummed or you just had some miraculous perfect game. Um let me go ahead and save it here, because why not? And Leonia, Leoness, thanks for playing, but sorry, you are now replaced with Drist. <laughs> for all but one level, yes. 
Wow. Wow. Yeah, it's never happened to me, though. It's never happened to me. Out of all the times I played Escalio, never happened to me. I always had to drink potions and tonics. Some tonics are actually pretty good for you. I've got quinine in it. It's pretty healthy. I'd say it's a good, good thing to drink. But, uh... Yeah. Well, I don't know if I'm going to be playing any defenses anytime soon, but <laughs> we're going to see a lot of battles, that's for sure. All right, so who's rooting for what now? Now that we know that the the two smallest, weakest countries are gone. Which is funny, because the Scarus Empire was near at the top of everything, and now they're, you know, now they're gone. Norgard, Escalio, Herleon, or Neomechia. Will Neomechia become the comeback kid? Turn things around? Will Herleon finally use all those extra knights to crush everybody? Or is uh, Escalio, with some of their really cool knights, gonna... You know, you know, give people some purple nurples or something like that. We shall see today. Wife booby. Well, as awesome and as sad as that was, we do know now that being in center is sort of a death trap. Unless you can get an ally in there, like Nomeki and Kerleon, the center of the map is sort of a death trap. It's, uh, it seems to be. It seems to be so far. I, I don't think it's the safest place to be. And everybody that was fighting for the center ended up getting a lot of stuff crushed. Is that a good call or a bad call? Yeah. Yep, wife booby. <laughs> I don't think the fire dragon will survive. Holy word! Go! He should have done a divine ray. Should have actually done a divine ray. Could have messed up Iria quite strong with that. Flame attack, Divine Ray. Irie would have to go. Maybe Norgard will come down here and clean up Escalio, and that'll be it for Escalio. Ooh.
But then again, Escalio has like some, you know, third tier knights. I don't know if they can really totally do that now. Pretty decent hit. Got rid of that. Spikers, there you are with a hardened spell on Road Bowl at the right moment. Saved. Saved by the Spikers. Goal! <laughs> you saved his you saved his bishop -y butt. Or his cardinal butt. You saved him. Good job. Ooh, look at that. Jean Grey with the airy heel. Jean Grey with the airy heel. You did the thing. Yeah, the thing. Move the thing. The other thing. Move it. You got the right person protected, that's for sure. I'm a little shocked, but I'm actually quite happy to see the Phoenix actually do an area heal. You know, make it count. I know that they did heal up one of the monsters, but still, like, Irie was low. She kind of needed it. So, you know. Boom. There it is. Boom shakalaka. You do area heal, I do Meteor Doom. <laughs> Let me hit you one more time. <laughs> Whoa! So they did a smart thing with the area heal, then he just literally rocked his whole front line there with Iria in tow. I don't see why he targeted her too. Good job, Camden. Camden loves nuking his own guys. He's done it last time, he did it before, he'll do it again. He just loves to do it. Like, Camden specifically loves to rock his own team. He, he does this a lot. I mean, there, I can see other times people do Meteor Doom, but they barely hurt their own team. They, they do a little bit, they not not that much. Oh man, what are we, what are we doing here? What are we doing here? I got I gotta heal him so I gotta heal his busted broken butt up or run away or something. Yeah, it was so powerful kill the music. I'm surprised it even did that. It hasn't done that. Like I think last time it did it a little bit too. That that, that hasn't been happening. What should we do? Should we go back? I don't know, I think he's... I, th I know he's in the front, but I I think he's in too much danger here. I think he's in too much danger. I think we got to pull him back. Probably do an area heal over here. Something like that, I think. Yeah. Make a little distraction. Meteor Doom broke the game. <laughs> Y'all will be whistling in the wind. I think it's time for Power Spell. What do you think? What do you say? I say power. You say yes. I say power. You say yes. I say power. You say yes. I say power. What do you say? I could do that. Uh, this thing will probably just do another airy heal. Do 
two. I don't know if it's gonna work. Like, we gotta get her low. This is the only difference is they've got this healer here. Probably do another air heal, which would be a very smart move. So, I don't know if I can assault this area. I can't even move out. percent chance of solid. It's not great. See, I could hurt her, but they'll just do another airy heal. I think a solid would be my only good option right now. Let's give it a try. Dang it. not in a good position. Norgard should probably run. Can't take can't take either of them down because there's just the area hill is waiting to, to happen again. I'll be wasting all my all my time trying. Unless I can stone her. Thirty-two. Unless I can stone her, I... Yeah. Percentages are always the same. I gotta try this, otherwise I've got really nothing... Oh, we did it! See, when you add the 40% to 32, that gives me 72% chance to do it. And that's... I'm kidding. Um... That worked out pretty good, actually. Well, she can't go anywhere, and she can't do any damage to me, so that's that's good for me. I like those things. might have a chance now. Spikers? Could you please harden somebody? I don't care who it is. Maybe... Maybe the dragon? What if I harden myself? Well, if you get hard by yourself, you know, uh, don't go around bragging about it. You know, it's not that hard. Get it? It's not that hard? It's up. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. Trigger has left the building. Mic drop. Waka waka. <laughs> waka 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 waka. 
I don't know, if we win, it's gonna be just barely winning. We just, like, all of our stuff, it's, but hit point wise, all super low. I get it! <laughs> I'm glad you do, Pringer. I'm glad you do, man. See? See? I knew they were gonna put that sneaky, you know, hell, hell dog to go attack that dragon over there. I had a feeling. I felt it in my bones. I felt it in my bones. That's, that's, yeah. Um, I think we all need a bit of a group hug here. So let's do a, let's do a Care Bear group, Care Hair, Care Bear. Well, it's not the Care Bear stare, it's Care, Care Bear hug thing. I don't know. We're healing up though. So, there, there we go. What do they do when they're healing themselves? Do they, do they ever have to do that? I, I guess, I think they never really had to do that. They just do the the Care Bear stare and then like, um, the, the enemy goes blind. You know? Right? Don't they go blind? And doesn't a unicorn come down and fart after that? And rainbows and skittles come flying out all over the place? I forgot. I don't even know anymore. I'm, I'm just I'm just making random stuff up. It's been a long time since since I was little. It's been a long time since I was little, so, yeah. It's been a while. My sister watched that enough growing up, you think, I would remember, but I barely remember yesterday. Congratulations! <laughs> we were up quite a long time last night. You know? That was, that was fun. I think, I think I'll uh, be up, you know, Pretty good amount of time tonight here. We got uh, trying to give her the boot. Gonna put a boot in her face. Trying to get rid of Almana. She's such a hedonist. That's why. She's just too much of a hedonist, and I get sick of those kinds of people sometimes. So I'm giving her the boot. Uh, we could eventually capture Jean Grey for Norgard, maybe. Maybe. Maybe, baby. We'll see. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, ba boom, boom, boom. Yeah, yum. Love it. I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. Da, 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 da. I don't know the rest of that song. It just came to me. It just came to me right now. Jean Grey and the Golem. I... if... Let's make her dumb. We can't. She's stoned. And he's stoned too. We can't. Spikers, you can't... You can't... Spikers, what are you trying to do? Why are you trying to make these two things dumb? They're both statues. You can't make a statue dumb. That does not work that way. God did not create statues to be silenced. <laughs> well, at least the Brigadine God did not create statues to be silenced. <laughs> no, not my will, dragon. That's kind of funny though. You can, because they're stoned, they they're the anything that is stoned or petrified it cannot be dumbed. It's the funniest thing. They cannot be dumbed down. Oh boy, we, we got uh, we got dude in back forty. Not good. Not good for us. We gotta take Iria down fast. Oh yeah? Well, yeah. take that! Yeah. 
What do you even have left? Oh, you got some purple candies. Okay, cool. Yeah, we cannot, um... We, we can't... We can't stupefy statues. It never works. Ever. Oh boy, we got, uh, we got problems over here. We got some big, big problems. I hope we can pull through here. I'm just gonna kill this merman. Uh, oh wait, we can't. Um, oh wait, we can. Alright, I'm gonna move you here. We're gonna... Ah, oh, crap, I could have moved him out of the way. What was I thinking? Not you, not you, not you, but yes, you. 39. We're gonna take a bite out of crime over here. Yum, 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 yum. Okay, it's good old shake and bake. I could do a Gino. But I'm hitting all... Of, she'll be gone. Her, all of her monsters are all here. Hopefully we could capture a Jean Grey. A capturable Jean Grey would be hilarious. Fight for Norgard. Ooh. Oh, no, we didn't quite get it yet. All right. You guys go do your thing. Victory for no god. That could have gone either way. I could have literally gone either way. Norgard invades Soul Steam. Ooh, we're gonna see this today here. I might take a little break here for. I might take a five minute break pretty soon here, so maybe when we get to um, the the battle, once we get to turn turn five, I'll probably take a five minute break, but. Lance, Haley, Adelicia. What do we got? Shulius, we got Helrado here. I think we might probably I think we want to stick with Helrado for for defense. He's actually got monsters. We go with Adelicia, but I mean look, Helrado. Helrado, he's the man. Yeah, I'll have to take a small, small intermission. Want to get some snacks set up. Get some, some snacks. Maybe a good time for you. Oh, Spikers is there. Norgard on the south. probably get out to the front lines. I'll probably get to use them in the front lines here. Okay, battle has finally begun. Turn three. Thor? 
Thor has Bolt and Geno Bolt. And also Thor has a Lapis. And I think that um, Fafnir also has a Lapis too. So even if I try to kill them, they'll come right back. There's almost no point in trying. It, it'll be a complete waste of time. Um, because two monsters, with two monsters having a lapis, just trying to kill one of them, and then they come right back, you get a fight, try to kill it again, you, you lose a lot of stuff trying to do that. It's very risky. Very, very difficult. I'm, I'm more likely just going to go and try and avoid them here. Spikers with the protect on the griffin. Good job. Probably will need that thing. Oh, Lance on the front line, right, Vinard, he's like, I'm not afraid of you. <laughs> oh, man. Unfortunately, maybe you should be. <laughs> I don't know why he's doing that. That That's... This will make an easy win for, for Norgard. He's, like, totally surrounded. What does he have there with him? Just that. That's That's all he's got. You bring it on ghoul. Should have brought all your should have brought all your stuff south. Why is this going this way? You already have a four over there. Yep, he just he he's walking into a trap. Walking right up into a trap. Yay! A gym came down to save him. Good job. Go Jin. This is a pretty massive battle, but I think Norgard will take the cake here. Just because I'm playing as Norgard, and Lance is like right there. He's right there. It's gonna be so hard to lose. <laughs> it's gonna be hard to lose it. <laughs> Turn four. Geno Bolt! Boom! Like that. Like a charm. Now, they might have a better opportunity against this side of the fence, but the south side, I've already got the leader, like, right in front of my face. Yep. Gigja. You know, the only problem is Viner doesn't have any healers down there. So maybe I could be talking a lot of big talk and, you know, smoking a lot of wampum or, I don't know. Well, Hilrado came down to play, so I guess there's that. Ooh, Pringer! Why did you... Well, at least it'll be safe for a while. Falcor took the hit instead. Oh boy. <laughs> I may have to rethink my plan here. I think I gotta get Vinard out of the way. He's he's kinda low, there's no healers here. Yikes. I was all excited about this battle, and now I'm getting a little bit afraid. Yeah, I was like, ah, no problem, it'll be fine. Oh, he's down there, we can hit him? Yeah. Well, there's no protect spell in Vinard right now, and there's no healers nearby, and he's down in the hundreds. So, I don't know, he might just retreat. The north side still looks quite healthy, but he, I don't know. I think I get to take over, like, immediately there. I don't know if Viner's gonna stay or if he's gonna go, but he is low enough that he could run. Pringer's taking a bite out of Griffins. I'm 
Lance is getting shot. Oh, jeez. I know, but Viner's at 197 hit points. He's at 197. Well, he did go up a little bit, so there's that. Oh no, Spikers, you're in danger! Kind of. Maybe not. Maybe you'll be fine. <laughs> well, you're not in super much danger. Maybe they won't pick on you. <laughs> there I go. Turn the page. You say turn the fairy. This is a good battle. All right, turn five. I get to go. All right, not for Neomechia, though. Yeah. Oh! Pliskin 5 just smacked, killed that thing. Gained experience? Has enough for probably another bolt spell. There's 71 MP in the in the tank. This is still a beautiful battle, but regardless of whether I get the win with this or not, this this has been pretty awesome to watch. Okay, um... Oh, guess what, Spikers? I could royally level you up. I think we got the win here. I did, I, everybody, I think we got the win! Remind me never to attack Hellrado ever again. That was... that hurt. Six. I think we got ourselves a decent victory here. Gotcha three levels. Just like that, you're gonna get more powerful. Spiker's got the bolt on Lance. Unfortunately, nothing from Neomechia was captured for Norgard, but Norgard did get to kick them out. It's gonna make Norgard quite powerful now because, you know, they they don't have to worry about that. Neomechia is coming back to attack Jukes. Neomechia is not out of the game yet. 
In fact, they want blood. They might just get it. Randian, Yvain, Dillard, or Lane, I guess. I guess we gotta go with Dillard here. The Omekian line is the right line. No god line is the right line. I won't bow down. Okay, um... I have to take a small intermission. Probably a minute or two. I'll put on the intermission screen here. Let it, let it play for a bit. Uh, and uh, I will be back. So if you want to take a break, get a drink, whatever. You know, it's a good, uh, good time to do so. So let's see if this actually works this time. Here.
Okay, I'm back. Hey, Rude Boy Five, thank you for the uh, the subscription there. Screenshot and comments I liked. Uh, yeah, that was one of the um, pictures I put up there. That was a cool picture I had. Um, some comments some people gave me from some of the Brigadine stuff for YouTube. I did that like I don't know how many years ago now. But so weird. Well, I guess so. I don't know. Um, but uh, thanks, uh, Rude Boy Five, for the subscribe a tier one. To appreciate that. Um, no, that was just an intermission right there. That'd be a very long ending, wouldn't it? <laughs> just sit there for ten minutes, just you know showcase some art that I've done and all that. <laughs> It'll be a very, very long ending. I actually did some endings before that were like two minute uh, music endings and surprise people stuck it out and they, they, they liked it apparently, but yeah. Um, I think I have some new music I might for make for an intro, which I, I might use. This one guy makes a lot of intro, outro game music. He's, it's, he's pretty good. He's pretty good. I like him. I uh, might use some of that in the future here, but let's get the game back on. Let's see what's going to go on here. Uh, so, what was it? Turn five again, I think? Yeah, turn five. <laughs> Got to commission people to do that. Some people uh, don't go with that or don't, don't try to do the commission. There's some people that just make musical things and they just say just credit me put my name in the in, in the credits somewhere and then I usually do that and you know that's usually good enough I could pay somebody I could commission somebody to do something I was thinking about that but um, I think I might if I do something like that I might do maybe more of a artistic thing although most of the stuff I I'm already make most of my own art so I'm not very compelled to do it but maybe in the future I might. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe in the future I might commission some kind of outro screen or something like that. I don't know. I Sometimes I just like to try to tinker with that and make it, so... I'm thinking about reworking a new one, but I don't know. Here comes the Streamlabs. Thanks for being here, Streamlabs, and and, uh, and Rude Boy. I don't know where you're at, Rude Boy, but thanks for the subscribe. I I don't. Maybe you just like to to watch. Maybe you can't comment right now, but uh, if you didn't hear me, I'll say it for the last time here. Thank you very much for the subscribe. And, uh, let me know what you are interested in seeing, because I'm usually doing a lot of Brigadine content. Doing Final Fantasy on some other nights, Front Mission as well, I just love playing Front Mission. And, uh, there's, there's a new game I might play sometimes too, uh, Fire Emblem, which I didn't know, I actually have it now, so. <laughs> Telic Mike kind of loaned me the game. Um, probably permanently and so fire emblem you might see some of that too it's uh the three houses fire emblem i think somebody i think jake was asking me earlier like who was i gonna play as i'm like i'm playing as the uh the chick from the red team you know i'm gonna try that out Let's see how that goes But yeah, we've got this battle here. Nuomeki will probably turn the tables, turn the tide. They did lose that battle because Lance was kind of a dum dum and rushing up to uh, fight Vinard. Although he could have knocked out Vinard. Like if it wasn't time enough yet, Vinard, I'd probably have to have him run. But um, it was a pretty interesting battle, nonetheless. Can we get Nuomeki the win here? I don't know, but we can give it a try. 
Good old college try. With the Hydras in the back behind our army, I have complete faith that New Omechia will help us pull through this total victory here. Especially since all the Hydras are just, you know, all the way back there. <laughs> I'm kind of kidding now. <laughs> Move your butt! Good. Well, you tried. You tried. You failed hard. You tried, you failed hard. Try hard, fail hard. That's, that's what life's about, isn't it? Ooh. Those bit. Wow. That rock is going to be a problem. Where are you going, dude? Oh, revenge. Got a stone on them now. I'm sipping on holy water. Rocks are always a problem. That's kind of true. It's kind of true. It's like, if you see a rock, you might want to kill it. Could stone your whole army. I have seen this happen before. Where more than half the army, about seven monsters, get stoned by one or two rocks in one battle can completely crush your morale and your ability to win too you know that's why the new game actually incorporates unicorns everywhere and they position those unicorns in every single location so that they can cleanse whatever you stone or do anything to like the, the new game does it religiously there's like unicorns everywhere you can't get away with stoning anything or charming hardly anything like every time I play I always have that difficulty like they just I can't get away with it I can't can't get away with it that's for sure all right, Garbob. Garbob. <laughs> His name is Garbob. <laughs> hey, rude boy. The new game. The new Brigandine. Legend of Renarzia just came out lately. This past uh, year. And it's been 20 years since this particular game right here that they finally brought out a new version of the game. I was playing it yesterday, a little bit earlier. Uh, probably watch that here and uh, you can see some of the new game there very difficult I, I cranked up the settings a lot harder than uh, it kind of previously was they kind of it did a little upgrade there which quite good glad that they made it a little bit stronger um, but yeah Legend of Renarzia is the new game that came out it's on switch it's on PlayStation uh, PlayStation 4 and I like it. Norgard has such a massive army here. Turn 5. Okay. Get to go. Oh geez, he's almost totally dead. To level 28. How are we going to play this here? But yeah, Rude Boy, thank you so much for the subscribe. How are you doing today? Uh, do you, have you played a lot of Brigandine? Are you an Advent fan of said game? Maybe you are. Oh, jeez. We got, got everybody everywhere. And got to try to knock out Dillard. It's going to be tough, though. But, gotta give it a shot. It's 
take a crack at you, Vayne. Lots and lots and lots and lots of brigandine. Good stuff. Good stuff, sir. <laughs> uh, should I even try this? I don't know. I don't know anymore. I, I kind of do. But it, I'm playing this um, historical conquest. I take over for turn 5 and 6 for the aggressor. Unless... Unless somebody's down on their final castle, I'll play defense for them the whole way. But trying to help New Mecca get the win here. Um, soon enough, by the end of the month, if not after the end of the month, it depends. I think, though, at the end of the month, we're going to be having a multiplayer here. So Pringer's in the chat right now. He's He wants to be one of the contestants, one of the, uh, the fighters there. There will also be uh, myself. Metallic Mike, Raging Paul, and I think Frost will be there too, so you're going to actually see if if things work out well, we'll have it as a live stream. If if not, then we'll just have recorded stuff, but um, we're going to try to do the live stream. So that's sort of what's going on, you know? I'm just going to go for it. I know I'll lose him, but we gotta try to kick Dillard out of here. We gotta get the leaders gone. Holy cow, you actually survived! I'm surprised. I'm very, very surprised. And he's stunned too. Okay, let's do... I could do a... I, uh... I think I want to just go up and just flat out fight. Wait, am I... Is he still in the blue over there? Okay, well... Okay, this should work. Pick it up every five years or so. Nice. Yeah, I'm usually... You, before I was even streaming uh, this game... Oh my gosh, he stunned him too. Before I was even streaming this game and all that sort of stuff, um, I'd be playing like usually once a year or so. So... We gotta go after him. We gotta try. I don't know why the hell Melgan went over there. Made no sense. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Dillard, you are the man. I love playing as Dillard. Look at this. Dillard just stunned three of my characters here. He stunned all three of them. He's like, no problem, Bob. I can take care of it. I can deal with your problems. I will, I will crush. Who's ever coming after me, you'll get me low, but I will stun them all. <laughs> man. Man alive. Okay. Uh, let's do this. Right there. That might work. Maybe. Okay, good. You can heal yourself. I don't know if you should even stay here, to be honest. Got a breath attack. I have enough for holy... Well, I could maybe holy word kill him, but still. You know, I'm just getting out of... I'm getting out of dodge. I'm just gonna get out of dodge with him for now. I don't... I, she has a four range space of attack. That's the only person I'm worried about is Brangian right now. I know! That's crazy! They... They've stunned me, like, you know, too many times. I do need to heal, but I do need to get the heck out of dodge. I really do. I'm just gonna move out for a second and... One, two, three, four... I don't think she can get me from here. I hope she can't get me from here. Let's look at her movement path. Okay, so she can go there. It's as far as she can go. She can shoot one, two. One, two, three. Can she just naturally shoot four right away? Yeah, she can. Yeah, she can. So she goes stands here. One, two, three, four. Oh, man. I gotta move all the way down here. I gotta move 
all the way down here. Is that freaking crazy? I should probably line up for a shot. Oh wait, wait a second. I could just breath attack through. Yeah, I could just breath attack through right now, can't I? You go be a good little boy over there. Okay, well, I'm hitting one of my guys, but I might kill one of theirs too. That's cool, rude boy. Um, what is your favorite country? Do you have a favorite country? Dost thou have a favoritist countryist of things and reasons? Boom, boom, boom! What will we ever do with you? I don't know. No, we're just gonna spike a dragon. Just like that. Just like that. Okay. Not really, they're all fun. What the f... How did she get to move all... Oh, they're all stunned and they're all stoned. Oh, that's right. Oh. Wow. So tricky. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I forgot that. I just moved something out of the way and she'll just walk all the way through. I just looked at her movement path, but then I didn't... Oh, then I moved stuff back. Oh, I don't know if the heal would have really done much, because I'm healing myself up. There's a breath attack, two breath attacks and an archer attack on her. I think if we would have just not had... Maybe just Garrett not get stoned? I don't think they could have pushed through like that. Oh boy. Oh my gosh, you're already stunned! <laughs> oh man, all the stuns, all the crits, holy cow. I have to say my favorite countries are still, like, Norgard, Escalio, and I like Kirlion because of Dinadan. But yeah. We are... that is crazy. That, is, uh, that has never happened to me before, to have everybody stunned and stoned and people just walk on through. It, that was such a... See, I was trying to pull him back just far enough that she wouldn't get shot for spaces, and then... <coughs> she just ninjaed her way through there. Man, I really wanted to try to help get New Mecha get the win here. I don't know. It's going to be hard taking down that knight over there. I might be able to take out... I might be able to take up Brankian. Though... Might be able to. Sixty-four, that's not very good. <laughs> yes. Dude is protected. Three ways from Sunday. Shielded again. Foiled again! Ah. Oh. Nobody ever said it'd be easy, did they?
Okay, let's try this out. We're gonna do a super attack, Black Death. Get that rock over there and try to pin her. Got me kind of stuffed into a corner here, to be honest. 46%. Oh. Okay, how about you do me a solid? Let's do this. Block. Oh! With the stone. Will it last, though? We have a unicorn there. He does have enough for a cleanse. Oh, man. Not fair. Not fair. Woof, woof. I think we can get Brangian out. If we can get Brangian out, I could potentially get Garant to do something. Maybe they'll, you know, finish off the rest of the monsters here. We'll see. <laughs> You're gonna heal the dragon. Oh, this is epic. This is epic. But yeah, Rude Boy, what's your... What are some of your favorite... Do you have a favorite uh, leader or something? Yvain's gonna get a level off this, isn't he? He already got a level two. Yeah. We just witnessed the loss. I don't know if you were there to witness it, but Leoness and uh, Zemeckis, basically done. They're they're done. I don't know what you're gonna do, man. But it's turn seven. I gotta I gotta give it up. And you go for the dog. You go for the dog. You could have hit a Brangian pretty hard, but no. No reason to do that, apparently, just to curse. And, uh, you know, maybe we'll, you know, put something to punt. Nope, not even gonna. Not even gonna attack Brangian. She could go down right now, but. Not even caring. And you moved out of the way, which you could have had better accuracy, and you. Didn't do that either. <laughs> oh man, you gotta love it. Got both CDs for uh, for some reason. I thought it would take longer. Oh no, it's it's very small. It's it's a very it, well, it's not a very small size for the game, but like compared to new games, you know, I got the you know the last Call of Duty game that was like 40 gigabytes. Right there, I was like, wow, I had to delete about four games just to put one game on my PS4. I think in the future I'm going to have to, like, get, you know, extra expansion of, of uh, some kind of expansion card for that. That's crazy. Well, it's it's good to see Neomechia still pushing hard. I don't know if Neomechi will stick it out and try to get the win, but I guess we'll see. <laughs> Meligant gets a silence. Silence you, Meligant! No, it doesn't work. And Norgard had to go bye-bye. Norgard got a win, pushed Lance around a bit, but Garant and Meligant are not having any of that. They're not going to have any of that. They're going to be like, nope. It's not happening today. You are going just to get crushed. And now Jukes is in the hands of Neomechia. Whew. It's going to be epic. If Kai decides to fight against Norgard, oh my gosh. You know, each CD was like 400 megabytes. I know. It's so nice. It's so nice. Some of these older games are just such, they're such classic games. Colors are great, the colors pop, especially this game. This game has great color schemes. I know some people like the uh, original LOF, but I, I think I like the um, a lot of the pixels in here a little bit better. The only thing I think I like with the original better is the champion look. I like the champion look with the polygonal, you know, fight scenes. That was cool. Ooh, the Empire is gone. I have no desire to fight you, but I will defend myself. 
Erased by Saras Belgar? Wait, who's with Belgar? Where does... Where is Belgar? Who is Saraha going to? I forgot who's with Belgar. Saraha is going to a new country now. But he's going to wherever Belgar is. Belgar, Belgar with Carleon? Might be. If that's the case, Carleon's going to get quite more powerful with us. With a ninja master. I totally forgot where... I can't atone for my sins, but fighting again in battle. Perhaps my choice is bad. To pick a path of life is difficult. The death my clan requires would be much easier. I will try not to be a burden. Saraha joins. I think he joined Carleon, which would be good for them. But you know what's going to happen now? Because Saraha joined a country, some other country is going to get Kazan with a bronze golem. So whoever wants to name that bronze golem the Deo, they're going to be going to a new country. Okay, Norgard goes first. Falcor. Mr. Goldark says dibs. <laughs> dibs on the bronze golem or the, the Deo? I don't know. But uh, quite an epic, epic battle there. Um, let's see if... well. Saraha would go to the leader, so Norgard did not get that. Um, I guess we'll have to see. Maybe he goes to the capital? Maybe? Nope! Neomechia gets Saraha. Neomechia is literally eating up all of the knights in the realm. Look at this. Norgard has 15 knights. Neomechia has like 33 knights, I think. They don't need any more knights. They just need to get castles. They have so many freaking knights. Loki's still your fave? Yeah? Well, if it happens, it happens, man. Did you see that? Mr. Gold, did you see the fight with Plisk in there? He got a, a level or two, and he has a lapis still. And uh, Pringer has a lapis on him, too. So even though we were able to nuke Lance, if we weren't able to do that, it would have been a heck of a tough time trying to get that to go. Uh, Norgard's going to push in here a bit. Let's look at the map here, just to get um, our finger on the realm for half a second. Neomechia is still in a decent standing because they can put, they can field a leader here. They can field some good leaders here, and they don't have to hold on to too much. If Kai pushes up here... That can only help Neomechia, and if at that point, if Kai pushes up here and pushes up here and blah blah blah, it's literally setting us, like, if if Kai wanted to rush, it's a straight path. He goes one, 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 and he could do some serious damage to Norgard. Now, Norgard, on the other hand, they could fight back here, maybe, but they did push into Ascalios, so they did make a thorn in the side of Ascalio. Now Ascalio's got to go one, two, three four, which they still have enough knights to do so, but they also have to deal with just like this. But Kaelion can hold all this stuff and, you know, be okay. So, we're down to four countries here. This makes this so much better. You know. Hell yeah, the Talos are awesome too. Yeah, the Bronze Golem, if it survives the whole way, it'll, that's, it's on its way to becoming a, a Talos. It's going to be hard to break a Talos. Talos are very difficult to, to kill. Ah, they are. There's a version of this game that you can also play, a little hidden version. You beat the game, and I think you go into um, Recollection. You back out. You have a save file in here. You can play an extra added version of the game, Spikers, which does give you um, uh, some really powerful monsters just to start with. So, there's a little secret uh, thing to playing this game. But you got to beat it first, then save it, have it saved on your file, go to start a new game, but don't start a new game, um, go in Recollections, look in Recollections, back out, and then you go into Multiplayer, and it should show you an extra scenario of Multiplayer. If you have the disc that I have. So... A little secret to it. Um, 
This is pretty cool. I gotta say, it's really, really cool. I like seeing this here. I, I kind of hope Kai will go out and fight. I kind of hope he does. I don't know what's gonna be here. Maybe he'll switch some guys up or something, but... It'd be cool to see Kai actually go out and fight. We haven't seen that in a while. I did call it. Norgard did actually go out and do some stuff. So, they are busy fighting. Uh, yeah. Basically, just beat the game. Have it on a save file. Don't do... Don't do quick saves. Don't do the emulation saves. Do an actual hard save in the game. Like, go here, do a save. After you beat the game, then you go into Recollections when you're starting a game. If you want to start a multiplayer, a new multiplayer, go into Recollections. Just look at something in the Recollections. Maybe watch the ending again or something like that. And uh, back out of the recollections and immediately go into multiplayer and you'll probably be opening up a new kind of scenario that uh, the translator decided to put in here. So it's a modded version, but it doesn't have anything really truly different. It just, it's like you're starting with six countries, but each country has either an extra salamander, an extra Balmot. Leonia starts with a talus in that version and uh, you, like every country gets some seriously good stuff. The Iskar's Empire gets a Lilith and an Arc Seraph with, and every country also gets a Lapis as well. So it's literally just beat the game, hard save it, go in Recollections, look at something in Recollections, back out of there and immediately go and start the multiplayer and you should see it there. Now, I can't see it because I don't, I don't have like a save, because I, I saved over all of my... The reason I can't see it right now is because I saved over all of my single player files with multiplayer files. So that, I think that's the reason I can't see it. I have to play old multi, I'd have to play old single player again. Um, but anyways, anyways. Norgard's 51, 51 creatures here. Let's move on. You know, the fact is, if Duomechia got him, Carleon might get Kazen. <laughs> oh, 86 monsters, 14 knights. Oh. Thirty-two, they're still positive. Scalio's still holding up strong. Eighteen knights. Okay, this is what I was saying. Okay, they have 31 knights. Nuomeki has 31 knights and barely any land. If they could get more land, they have enough knights to field anywhere in any way possible. Everywhere, practically. 31 knights. Nuomeki has literally been sucking up all the knights everywhere, like a... You know, like... Vinerd came back down here. <laughs> Is uh, Kai still here? Kai moved! <laughs> if they would break the treaty. Well, if they did, I, I don't think they ever will, but... It wouldn't be very historical conquesting if, if I had them break their alliance. Because... We never see it actually happen. If they did it by themselves, that'd be something. You know? It'd be fun to see Nuomechia fight against uh, Carleon, but I, I think I think Carleon would win. I think they'd win. And then Carleon would just soak up some of the knights from Nuomechia. And... I, I, I mean, I'd like to see Nuomechia win. I think they'd have a chance if they were just a bit bigger and they had some actually good monsters to fight. But they're so small right now, Carleon definitely would win. 
just because of how much Kirlion has. They don't have a ton of knights, but when if when and if Nuomechia breaks and falls, just imagine how many knights are going to be found again. There's probably 15 knights in there that can be requested and gotten back. So whoever gets those extra knights, Kirlion probably will soak up some more knights. If Nuomechia loses, Kirlion will get a lot of knights probably. Because Nuomechia has just a ton of extra knights that, that can't really be fielded. Alright, let's give it a good hard shave here real quick. This would be hilarious if this whole thing turns around and Nuomechia wins in the end. Kerleon loses. <laughs> Nuomechia is the ultimate winner. The comeback kid, literally from practically nothing. Yeah, they're struggling with mana right now, but, you know. Ooh, Kerleon's going into Salisbury. Salisbury! Oh, were you trying to predict him saying there's plenty of little fish out there? Drist usually says that. Is that what you were trying to do, Carrot? Okay, I don't know what'll happen, but I have to fight for Carly, and hopefully Dinadan won't get his bacon smoked today. Because he's, uh, him and Drist go back and forth at it, although Drist a lot, a lot of times has the advantage. Just pocket everybody in a corner here. Let's not actually move out. Come on, Shasta. Mount Shasta, get your butt out there and do something. This will be a tough fight. Jean Grey's in the front. They're like, oh no, Jean Grey's going to get killed off. Let's put a protect spell on her. <laughs> Which is very likely I would try to do that if they gave me the opportunity. <laughs> We're gonna... Jean Grey might go down today. It depends on what happens. He needs a little bit of a halo. Let's give him a halo. It's probably the most ridiculous position in here. Nope, Jean Grey is gonna survive. I don't think we're gonna. I don't think we're gonna take out Jean Grey today. I know. Well, in the new game, the archers will shoot back and forth at each other. Like, they don't, they don't put up with any of that stuff. They don't put up with that stuff. <laughs> Goodbye, Angel. <laughs> Goodbye, Angel. That's how powerful Drist is right now. He is, he's no one to be contended with. You know, he's someone you don't want to have to fight. I know, the angel, that angel was kind of my pocket, um... That was my pocket protector right there. I needed that angel to do divine rays and such, but now it's, now it's kind of gone. It's kind of gone now. I can't help that. Here, I gotta see what turn it is. I... Okay, it was still turn three. I'm just antsy. I'm like... I don't know if they're gonna make any good moves here. I think Shast might get smoked. Oh, jeez. You had to put him right there? Dude. 
That was dumb. <laughs> I know, but I have to play for Carleon. So... I don't know, Carleon's in a really bad situation here. Whoa, he just... He just elbow punched her. That little pixie went down. Yeah, he's not to be messed with either. <laughs> he really is not. Wow, this guy's always doing like 142s. Okay, turn three. I don't know if we can take down Drist here. I could I could put Din down on the castle, but then he'll probably walk off the castle. Try to go fight Drist, you know, face to face, man to man. There's the block. Still pretty powerful though, 170 something there, right? Oh, Bjorte, why the heck did you have to front line this thing? Broski! Broski! Whoa, ow. Turn four. Oh! Poison set in, and he met his maker. I want to kill ghouls because ghouls are zombies and zombies have to die. Yay. <laughs> I don't even understand the purpose of that. It's not like the ghoul is going to kill your whole team, man. It's not like it's gonna that's gonna happen. That's not gonna be a thing. With a crit, 230. Wow, wowie, wowie, wow. Mr. Goldark. Drist is pissed. And he's gonna take it out on Shast. All these freaking misses, man. Dumbass. He could have healed himself up right there. He kind of needed to heal himself. He's, he's in grave danger of getting mortally wounded. You better protect something. Yeah, put them all behind. Everybody goes behind. Oh! Ouchie! No, that's dumb. Don't attack Drist unless you can pin him. And never, ever, ever attack a, a free-range Drist. You're just asking to get your, your, your ass whooped. You're just asking for an ass whooping. A free-range Drist is one of the most wiliest, wiliest coyotes there ever was. Or something like that. Whoa! He actually hit that thing. Wow. Oh my gosh, he survives? They pull him back? Oh man, there's a boon. There's a boon! <laughs> well, that was it for Shast. Mount Shasta, 
But down in history, Mr. Goldark ate Mount Shasta. Oh, Drist, you're, you're in danger. Half protect spell. Why, thank you. I don't need it because I'm just that powerful. But whatever. Oh, man. Well, that was it for uh, Spike and Training. Could be. Could very well be. Should we try to take down this Lucia girl? You know her name. You know my name! What was that? Um... Oh! Dang it! I should have put the freaking other giant there first. And, and tried it with this small, tiny little per percentage worth it. I mean, oh man. Yeah, what was the, the name of that song? You know my... It was a Soundgarden song. Remember that? I'm just going for kills here. You know, it's it's a Soundgarden song. It was from the um, it was from one of the Bond movies. He was he was doing a a song with one of the Bond movies, and it was called "You Know My Name." I think the name of the song is "You Know My Name," and he was singing it in the Bond video, actually. Look, ma'am. How are we going to take down that dude? Yeah, it's You Know My Name. I think it's... I think that's the name of it. Oh, yay! We got 24 points of damage on him. I don't know how this is going to turn out at all, but... Okay, we're still turn 5. I could do an airy heal, maybe? That might be enough. Alright, I have a better... I've got a... Got a pretty good idea. Yeah, that that's the name of the thing. I'm pretty sure. Oh crap, I don't have area. Oh, that's right. Well, I'm just gonna heal him up anyways. He's he's gonna rush out there and and, and try to fight something. I might as well heal him up right now before he gets all stupid. If he gets all stupid in the head, he'll rush out there. But yeah, you know my name. That's a really good song, don't you think? Don't you think? Don't you think? Ha huh, ha huh, ha huh, ha huh, ha! Huh. Wait, wait for it. And now, now we can come crashing down. Even though he's probably gonna make a mess out of my army. You know my name. Oh, come on! 93 and I miss! 93! Well, that's Drist for you. That's Drist for you right there. 
That's so... That's so typical. That's so drist. That is so drist. Mmm. That's a good movie, though. It's a very good movie. Oh, she's leaving? They're leaving? We could have a chance to knock out Driss? The man of the hour? Of hours? Out the... Uh, whatever? Something? Words. Words are important. Oh, no! I killed it. I killed it dead. It died. <laughs> I don't. We're not even gonna make a dent in him. This is what. This is the whole point. Look at this. He had 135 defense, I think. Now he's at 165 defense. He has more defense than uh, a stoned creature with a protect spell. He is just a, a super beast. He is a super, super duper beast. Oh, actually, it's good. He's attacking with green. I'm a little worried about going and fighting him, honestly. Let's go stand on the castle, do a little healy healy. Let's go uh, have Driss give us. Oh my gosh, he missed again! 85, and we got a miss there. Yeah! That's how, that's how super uh, uh, expialidocious awesome Drist is. Ha! 163. <laughs> block? Oh, that was good he got a block. Whew! Thank God. Oh, man. My dragon fire. My dragon fire. You know that song, right? Heard that song. I'm sure you had had to have heard that song. I think it's called My Dragon Fire. I if it's from the Dragons? I can't remember the, the name of the band. I don't remember the name of the band. I, I almost want to say it's Avenge Sevenfold, but I don't think it's Avenge Sevenfold. Actually it sounds kinda close to Avenge Sevenfold, but I I don't know, it's some new it's some new band. That came out like ten years ago. <laughs> maybe it was five, I don't know. Maybe it was four or five years ago. The block was blood was blood butt clenching. Ooh, we got a level ten pixie here on Carleon's team. So, Dinadan, would you like to have a fairy on your team? Oh yes, I would very much appreciate that. That'd be pretty cool. Oh, Vanessa, she has to go into side towers with explosive set. When will she ever learn her lesson? When will she ever learn a lesson? I don't know. At some point. Gilsa sees an old woman. Hey, you old bag! How about you get, show me my, uh, my tarot cards here? Get the hermit. Oh, thanks! Perhaps the power will let you survive hardships ahead. Gilsus gains a strength point. Good, he can do one extra push-up a day. Congratulations. You know, I can too. I didn't tell you the spikers, but I'm doing one extra push-up a day. I'm getting uh, mighty strong. You know, for my age. <laughs> you could do one. You can't do any of them. Come on, you gotta, you gotta get on the, gotta get on the floor and push it. Gotta get on the floor and push the floor away. That's how you do it. Cause gravity works. Uh, looking forward to playing this game. So many new nights. Yes, lots and lots, lots and lots and lots and lots and lots, and lots and more quests. Hear me out, booze! <laughs> uh, 
I don't know. Does the booze talk to you sometimes? Maybe the booze might talk to you sometimes. Hey, you know. Some people swear by it. Lufal got the calm... The Calm Soleus. That is a magical sword that grants you extra MP and makes you free cheeseburgers on the side. They just appear. It's a pretty awesome sword. I like it. Um, the only <laughs> It's only a problem when you answer the booze. Norgard got Kazen! Norgard got Kazen. Oh man, Norgard's going to be powerful. They have a ninja. They have a ninja. They have a ninja. Ninja, 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 ninja. Now we got the bronze golem going here. I think, um... I think Mr. Goldar called the bronze golem. Ninja, 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 ninja. There's a black there. Spikers, do you want a Dale? There's a Dale there. If you want. If you want said thing, you shall ask and I shall maybe give you. He comes with anti-magic ring. You know? But yeah, it's only a problem when you answer the booze. The booze calls out to you and you answer back. That's that's when you've got problems. You know? Don't like that class. Those weird those weird ass looking gin guys. Yeah, they're kinda of weird. I totally get it. Um Where is that other one here? We have we we have we have clinched our buttocks and gained a fairy. Wait, no, that's not what we did. Um, you were talking about clinching a butt earlier of some kind. Oh, that's because we got the win. Um, yeah. Alright, spiders. Let's do it. Let's do it to it. Gaining another one. Army of fairies of which some may survive and some may die. Fairies for the win. All right. All right, all right, all right. All right, let's look at the map here. The map is getting quite green. Santa Claus is coming to town. We have, we have practically all the Christmas colors here, don't we? Just missing the purple and the light blue. They go bye-bye. They go bye-bye. Uh, so they can move this army over here. They only have to defend four spaces now. Carleon has just got a massive chunk of land. Massive chunk of land. That's nice. Norgard's finally making room. Red could have a comeback coming, maybe. If if uh, Carleon pushes into here and they actually fight against Norgard, then I think we're going to see it go boom, boom, boom. And then Neomechia could actually just move through here and then fight back for everything that they they want and we could see Norgard pushing into Escalio or Escalio retaking Norgard I don't know what's likely the case here but I don't know what you can see like I'm seeing that Norgard might push into Escalio a bit but if Escalio gets pissed off enough they might push back and maybe they'll run up here and take over Leonia yeah, Carleon is a solid 33,000 points. You know? How many knights does Norgard have? Enough. They have plenty. Um, Carleon has just enough to do what they need to do now. Four armies and four locations. Four armies and four locations can really do a lot. That's, that's usually the basic. That's kind of what you need to, to push and make some solid checks. Checks and balances. But um, every other every other uh, country has more has they, they can field five to six armies. So uh, we got you that name there. Let's move on. Okay, see so Neomechia, thirty one knights. Divide that by three. How many teams can you make? <laughs> Just saying, like Neomechia could really field a ton of a, like they could have. Knights and castles and monsters everywhere. They'll be totally fine. Um, Alright. 
Yeah, 10 castles. Yeah. 30 divide 3 should be 10, technically. Uh, so, Mr. Goldark wanted to be named this, so <laughs> Mr. Goldark, oh my gosh. You might literally survive all the way with this thing. This thing is super hard to kill. I barely ever even try. The most of the thing I usually do with these things is to mention them the hell out of the way. That's usually what I do with these things. If I'm fighting them. I'm like, get the, get the F out of here. Just hit the mention spell. Boom, gone. Just sent into the mountains. I'll deal with you later. It's one of the best ways to deal with them, honestly. It just I'm just being I'm just being honest about that. It's one of the best ways. Because they don't have any intelligence so they can it's a hundred it's a guarantee to mention. And they get sent super far away, they can't even be in a battle. You know? But the one thing is when they are in a battle, oh they cause a rest they cause big breakfast. This thing doesn't have a lot of agility, so stone throws may or may not hit very well. But it's just a solid, strong tank. It's like it's just a good solid tank. So Mr. Goldark, you might you might take the cake on this one here. Mm. Attack defense, good. Yep. Yep. Yeah. 298 and 235. Solid. Solid. And this thing gets leveled up a little bit. Just you, you, All you need is 10 levels. And you got yourself a Talus. And those things are almost impossible to kill. And Talus are one of the coolest looking things, especially in this version of the game. I love the deep blue. It looks basically the same thing like in uh, Legend of Forcina, but... Taluses are one of the coolest looking things. And it could be because I have a robot friend that I like the idea of that, you know, because Talus and Raging Paul are about the same. Um, as far as, like, you know, functionality. But, um, yeah, I, I have to say, yeah, this is going to be awesome to see Norgard with this. I, I don't know if they're going to fail with this, honestly. I'm not even going to try to kill it. Unless I've got like a ton of bombs and curses and stuff, that's the only time I'm actually going to try to. Most of the time, I'm probably just going to dimension it, just get the hell out of there. You just level it to level 30 and class it up. That's that's it. That's the only thing. This is the only monster in the game that you can push up to level 30 and class it up to Talus by itself. No item. No item needed. You just got to get to level 30. So they'll get to level 30. And then you're, we're going to see a big blue Talus here. Probably. I think Norgard's going to get quite big for their britches. I don't know if they're going to knock out a Scalio. I think if anybody could, I th it might be them. I don't know if Carolan's going to push for that. They are pushing. But I, I don't know. There could be some back and forth stuff. Scalio did get some awesome, awesome knights. They've got Charlene now. You know, they've got some healers. They have some potential. You've got Isfis. I know we got kind of a win there, but, I mean, we've got some pretty dang good stuff now. So, like... I need food. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but, um, yeah, anyways. Enough talk. More fight. Let's do it. I don't know. I think it's a Scalio or New Amechia is the next one out. Because they're both getting, they're, they're both get, you know, fighting, getting attacked, everything like that. They're trying. They're struggling, but they're trying. Kai keeps moving back and forth like a, like a dumbass. <laughs> but maybe he kind of does. Maybe this is good. He'll, he'll stay there. Maybe we'll actually get to see a, a brawl. Might get to see a fight there. But yeah, can't be a long time to get him level 30. It's easier when you finally have the bronze 
to finally put it up there, but to just get the bronze right away like this, that's nice too. Why did you go with two knights? Oh, because they only have two knights? Is that why? I don't know why. Oh, this could get ugly. There are rocks here. We have to help out New Mechia, but it, it will be tough. This will be rough. This will be rough. This will be tough. It's nice, though. We're actually getting to see some snow battles, though. It's been a while. Get to see some snowy, wintry battles here. I might actually get to start the fight myself, considering how slow this is going. Yep, I will get to. Turn four. What the hell are you doing, man? Why aren't you going forward? What, what are you sitting there for? You can't win the battle by sitting there. Okay, turn five. Dude, get the freaking heck up there, man. Protect you, Vane. Yeah, of course, of course, I get it. Seraphin. I kind of put that ghoul out there as a buffer. I kind of purposely did that, yeah. Just to try to keep some of those rocks off of me. Which we already got stoned once, one of the monsters, so this isn't looking very good. Very good for Team Elmechia. Oh, good shot, good shot. Is Garrett level? Th yeah, he doesn't need to level up anymore. Well, we could do this. Level up Pringer a bit. Good job, Pringer. Good job. Two strength. Ooh, that's nice. That is very good. Um, 
Let's just let's make some targets here. Okay, let's not do anything serious yet. We gotta be we have to be very careful. Be very quiet. Hunt the wabbit. Very good. Really, dude. Really, really, really. You want to try that? Okay. Alrighty then. Okay, we got rid of one rock. Oh, spikers, you put a hard spell on that thing here. Turn six. I'm just gonna park her here so she can throw some spears, and then I'm basically out. I can't do. I really can't do any more. I don't know if. I don't know if New Mikey can win this. They should have went with three knights. Honestly, they really should have done that. They didn't do it, and this could kind of be a downfall. I don't know. Turn seven. All right, go team. Go Team New Elmechia! Photon from Pringer, of course, of course. I thought that would be a good that would be a good way to go about it. it makes a ton of sense. <laughs> Why did you do a super critical attack on him? Whatever, doesn't matter. Woof, woof. Oh boy. Oh, very close. Yes, good crit. Nice. I'm going to heal you up, Mr. Wyvern. <laughs> You're welcome! It's a tight battle. This is a very tight battle. It, this could go no mechy, this could go Norgard. This literally could go any way. Any which way. Yep. Good thing I parked her there. I was hoping she was going to throw some spears. It really was. That's pretty good. <sighs> of course. Of course, you have to stone everything there. Turn eight. Ain't it great? Turn eight. Ain't it great? Oh, you should have moved that guy up there first. What are you doing, man? Big dummy. Oh boy, is Garrett gonna finish him off here? You ran away! You could have finished him off right there and you run away! Unbelievable! You could have finished him off and that would have been that! Wow. He was low enough. Garrett, why didn't you do the deed? That makes no sense. You had every opportunity. 
You just threw it away. Oh, he's low enough? I'm just gonna run away. Whatever. He has another heal. He could potentially heal himself. Garrett, you could have. Oh, Garrett could have got the win there. That is disappointing. Could have got a win. But you didn't. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. <sighs> Welp, this is our luck, isn't it? Nilmeki had that win right in their hands, knocked out that leader, and then the other one would have probably left. I think it's because the one dragon got stoned. I think that's the reason. Rod gains intelligence. That's pretty good. Miguel got a magic jar. Might help. That might help him. Kaylee needs to go out and fight. That was a joke. That was a total joke. You could have had you could have had Melligan come out with you. You have all these leaders, and you send out two knights. You guys are idiots. Could have sent out a whole team. Yeah, they got two knights, so what? Send out three of your knights. You have enough knights. You don't have to equalize things. What was the, what was the purpose of that? Galio is getting low. Omeki is low too. Norgard's actually at the bottom. <laughs> they have about half the map, but they're at the bottom. Can you believe that? Sixteen knights. That's a good count. Why... Why do you barely have anything here? Wow. I think Norgard's gonna knock out the section here. I think they are. I think Neomechia is going to be stuck over here. In a way, that's okay, but... They could have went in with more knights. They could have done more damage, but I don't know. I think, if anything, Neomechia and Scalio are going to struggle to survive for a bit. Maybe Neomechia more so. Let's get into the attack phase here. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. 91 creatures for Carolyon. 91. Norgard's up to 76. Spirit of 76, right? Carleon's up to 22!
the uh, teacher number, right? I think that's it. Let's shave it real fast. We went through some cycles and I didn't save it. Kirlian's coming back. It's a Nass. Big mage team. Big mage team. Well, if they get things set up right, I think we could have an easy win. Well, maybe not an easy win, but... I mean, Jean Grey's here, so that might not be a super easy win. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> Ulster got shot in the gut. Battle's on, guys. Battle's on. Let's get a solid kill right there. Whoa! Incoming Iria. Incoming Iria. She's not messing around. Ooh, with the block up here. I don't know. Jamfitter's team's gonna suffer a lot. They will suffer a lot because Jamfitter has no. Nobody to really support him, back him up there. What the hell are you doing? There's already a, a monster there. You could have went for a Divine Ray. Ira have Protect? No, she does not have Protect. But there are... There, there are some... Um, there are some Pixies nearby, so she could probably get a Protect spell, I think. Okay, I kind of get why they did that now. It sort of kind of makes sense. Halo to make sure the dragon gets the hit. You know, is a little cheaper than Divine Ray. So it does kind of make sense. Yeah, she could get a Protect spell right now. But if we're playing Legend of Renarzia... Well, <laughs> no, I think they... Yeah, she still can Legend of Renarzia, the new game, the Protect, is only a three-ranged uh, radius. This game is four. Oh, there goes the little Fenrir. Dead, dead, dead. Gallo is getting the Protect. Will Iria also get a Protect? Who knows? Nope, it ran away! <laughs> the Pixie ran away. Don't know why they're going forward. He's just gonna he's just gonna pop a meter doom. He's just getting he's gonna get himself rocked. They love they love 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 meter doom. That was a good meter doom. It did hit a lot of their stuff. Jean Grey got got hit a bit there. Ulster's gonna feel that in the morning. Gallo got hit. 
They do have an area heal with the with the Phoenix though, so I don't know if they're gonna do that or not. I don't see Jamfer surviving this though. I, I I don't I see a zero percent chance of Jamfer surviving. Like literally zero percent chance. Uh yeah, she's I think she's at level thirty or close to it. She should have like Agility in the hundreds. Probably by now. She's got agility in the hundreds. Oh, here's the soothing voice. That rock, that meteor doom didn't do anything. Jean Grey for the save, for the win. I don't know, maybe. So we'll find out. And you're cursing the fish. I never curse a fish. I just, you know, put them on land. You know, let them die. Cut off the head. Filet, eat the meat. That's what I do. But, you know, they, they want to curse a fish. I don't get it. I, I, I don't get it, Spikers. I don't know why. I, I can't. Like, my brain is going to explode just trying to think about it. I, I, I don't know why they put Biarte there either. It's okay to eat fish because they don't have any feelings. <laughs> That's probably true. I, I kind of believe it in a way because fish, if a fish is big enough and it can fit you in its mouth, it will try to swallow you. That's a fish's logic. Can I put it in my mouth? Okay, it's kind of like a little kid. Can I put it in my mouth? Yes? Okay, I'm going to do it. That's as, that's as far as a fish's logic goes. They won't be your friend if they can put you in your mouth. <laughs> they will just swallow you whole. <laughs> I think they have feelings up to a point of eating you, and then if they don't eat you, well, then, you know, they see you feeding them, they're like, oh, I, okay, I guess you're giving me the food, so I'm not going to eat you. <laughs> I honestly don't think, like, fish have the kind of feelings that, that a lot of land creatures have. I really don't. Like, they, they put their sperm on the ground with the eggs. They don't care. They'll fertilize the floor. They swim away. It's, it's not... They don't care. It's not a big deal to them. I think that's why Jesus would, you know, you know, get them fish and, you know, a lot of Christians eat fish. They don't see it as anything, any big deal. I don't. I really don't. I... Like, if... If I was going to go full vegetarian, I would probably be more of a prescatarian. I would probably eat fish too, you know, with with other foods, because I, I don't see them as having, like, any genuine feelings. Like, they're just like, they'll, what, if they can fit it in their mouth, they'll put it in their mouth. They'll eat it. And if that's you, and there's some big river monsters you got to be careful about. Uh, not monsters, but, like, river fish that, I think it was the Amazon or some big lakes or something like that, like... You can't put your children in the water because they might swallow your children. If you have a small child, they might try it. You know? Uh, yeah, so, like, I <laughs> I have no, like, super concerns <laughs> about fish. And that's my position. That's my stance. And I stand by it. I stand by it. Poseidon only special attacks if they're in water? Yes, they have to be in a pool of water. Now, I don't think it works in a swamp, but they do get some evasion in the swamps, which it's nice to have some swamps. It does help the, uh, the little fishies get around, you know? But if a merman has feelings, I think a merman mermaid might be different. They might actually have more genuine feelings <laughs> for a human, if that's a real thing, but I don't know. They are still a part fish. So, they still have some of that fishy logic. Can I fit it in my mouth? No? Okay, I won't eat it. Can I fit it in my mouth? Yes? Okay, I'll eat it. You know? <laughs> I have a lot of compassion for a lot of land 
animals and creatures, but I just don't for fish. Not that I hate them or anything, I just, I, I don't think they, they have the same kind of conscious logic that we have as humans. And other animals, I just don't see it. I have a hard point to argue me on that one. And I don't think you're trying to argue me, Spikers. I'm just giving you my perspective. That's all I'm doing. That's all I'm doing. Hawks and eagles. Yep, can happen. Maybe even big barnyard owls too. Like small dogs, small animals. If they're swimming in the water and it's a giant fish, it might swallow the dog. And it's like, oh, I'm hungry. Is that thing moving around? It's wiggling? Oh, I'm gonna eat it. <laughs> Same thing in Minnesota. Really? Oh man. You're you're right next to me, Totality Games, if you're in Minnesota. I'm in Wisconsin, so. Yeah. Mmm, dog, yummy. He'll eat anything. You know? I've heard... I've heard that caring for a falcon... I was watching this this animal guy who's big into reptiles and stuff. Caring for a falcon is a tremendous job. It's very difficult to care for a falcon. Like, if you had a pet falcon or something like that, it'd be seriously difficult to uh, care for. So, I like... I. Person, like, I've got some hawks outside that fly around, and I whistle to them, and some of the times they come by, and I think one of them tried to get in the window because I've got all this, like, big, oily, feathery, um, looking marks on my window. Like, try to come inside like we were... I made a friend, and he was going to come inside the window, but, you know, he just smacked into it, I think. Either that or a turkey tried to fly in the window, but I don't know. Let's, some turkeys are really dumb. Um, hawks, I, I think they're kind of cool. You can look, do some whistles to them and they'll come by and look at you, you know. So I'm, I might have made a friend. I think he, I think he grew up though, because he's like, like I whistled to him and like he's been here for a few years. So I think he's like an adult hawk now. I don't know how long hawks live for. But... It'd be cool to make a friend with one of them, but I wouldn't like have them in my house or anything like that. I'd be happy that they live in out, you know, outside where they need to live, instead of trying to feed one. You know, I, I, like if I had a, if I had a place where I could like get a big hawk glove, you know, let them perch in my hand for a little bit, or like a little pirate shoulder pad thing, you know, I could like come on some videos and just have them sitting on my shoulder, my cowboy hat on. I don't know how he'd like that, but. That would be kind of cool, wouldn't it? <laughs> Have a hawk just sitting on my shoulder and be like, Yep, this is how we play Brigandine. <laughs> then if he wants to go out and, you know, hunt for something, he just flies out the window. I don't know. I wouldn't... I, I think I wouldn't have, like, a bird. Like, a big bird of some kind, because I... I don't know. It'd be hard to handle. I'd rather just, like, if, if I could make a friend with a wild bird... And it wouldn't eat me. <laughs> Back at me, that'd be kind of funny. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Ooh, you're finally stabbing Janfeder. I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen here. Welcome back, Totality, though. Uh, thanks for hanging out with us last night. Oh, man, I went through a lot of Jaeger. Um, yeah. But I had a lot of energy. Jaeger gives me lots of energy. <laughs> Maybe too much. Maybe too much. Leonia did bite the dust. You missed it. Oh, oh, oh. Once we get to... Okay, so so we can finally play it out. Right, let me let me slow down and talk a little bit here. Let me talk very slowly. We're gonna do some ASMR. Tap on the microphone and whisper sweet. No, I'm not gonna do any of that shit. Um, what ended up happening is is Leonia had Logris, right? And um, 
Zemeckis had Cadbury. Leonia went after Lagres. Or not Lagres, they went after Cadbury. They destroyed Zemeckis at Cadbury. And then another, I, I think Carleon went up and took over Lagres. And then Carleon finished off Leonia in the same way that Leonia finished off Zemeckis at Cadbury. Now Cadbury is a bit cursed because two countries died on Cadbury within the same year following each other immediately. So Cadbury could very well be cursed. Cad cursed Cadbury. Makes sense. Um, yeah. And uh, that's that's how it went down. Uh, Metro Twin Cities. Oh yeah? Okay. So you're in the Twins. Uh, look at the Midwest where it's cold. To do anything, we don't want to see anyone. So we game. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can go out and snow. There are kids outside that have been seeing, you know, sliding around in the in the, uh, the snow. So when you're a kid, you can have a lot of fun in the snow. You're older, you can go skiing if you like that thing. Um, I'm getting back into some exercise. I used to be, believe it or not, I used to be like really good at skating when I was little. So I decided to go back and do some skating. And actually, last time I went, I didn't fall down at all. So I'm, I feel pretty good about that so you know um, usually I do a lot of biking though but um, it'll be sweet yeah the winter months are video game months like an hour ago I think I just missed it roller skating yes ice skating I know it's cold up here and you can do it I just I'm not into ice skating ice skating's really hot like it really I don't know why it's so hard to to ice skate. It feels like I'm pushing against rock. I'm trying to slide on rocks. Roller skating's awesome. I went down and I was in Florida. I did some roller skating with my with my kid. And I never tried it on concrete before. But that is super slippery. I prefer the wooden roller skating rinks that are up here. They're awesome. And like I you know I don't know. It doesn't. It doesn't. I mean, it's still fast, but at least I feel like I've got a little more grip on wood than I do on concrete, like slicked up concrete. But um, can't rollerblade either. I grew up with skates. I grew up with the roller skates. I saw somebody with roller blades that didn't have the two in the middle and just had two skates on the end. It was almost like a custom skate where you did literally just had two wheels. One for the front for the toes, and one for the back for the heels. I don't know if you have ever seen anything like that before. But I just saw that, and I I was like, wow, I, I don't know if they make, they're making new skates like that. Not sure that's what I want, but the four-way skates seem to be the most stable, balanced things. But, you know, can we get a win here? I don't know. Oh, boy. Oh wait, we're at 100%? Oh good, 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 good. Yeah, skating's still kind of fun. I... It wasn't something that, like... I thought, you know, I would really like to grow up doing, but... Something my parents took me to, you know? Usually on the weekends. And I got pretty good at it. Jeez, he's at 37 hit points, or 37 MP, can't do... Man, you really burned out, man. Ah, oh, crap, she can throw three spaces, right? Yep. I'm gonna get sniped. I literally don't know where to go. <laughs> I have no idea where I'm going to go with that. Ooh. 
Yikes. Let's come down here. I might be able to air heal this. Oh, finally. Jean Grey was captured by Carleon! Oh, man. With a calming bell on top. Jean Grey has been captured by Carleon. Jean Grey was initially with Leonia. Totality Games was initially with Leonia. Jean Grey is Leonia's Phoenix from the beginning. Escalio captured it long ago. Held on to it for years and years and years. And now Carleon just captured. Now if we come out with a win on Carleon, this is now Carleon's Phoenix. It is very huge. I, I was gonna nuke it. I was gonna nuke it with some divine rays, but no point in that now. No point. Wow, that is that is a massive, massive win for Carleon if we get to survive here. Oh, 77 miss. Dude. Dude. I I'm that's a shocker. I literally kept thinking that that Jean Grey would just get away all the time. Just constantly be with a Scalio to the bitter end. But nope. Nope. That did not happen that way. Nope, not that. <laughs> we could kill it off, but what's the point now? There's just no point. I mean, getting a level 30 <laughs> Phoenix for another country is, is massively... As a massive boost. And and Carolyn could also still lose it <laughs> to another country. But right now. Oh, that's a that's that's a big win right there. That is a massive win. Wasn't there a Lizard King made last night? Um, no, somebody did get the crown, but there was no there was no king that was made. Whatever country has the crown does not have a Lizard Guard high enough. They, they probably still have it. I'm pretty sure I saw a crown go to a country, but I, I don't think that they have a Lizard Guard. You have to have a Lizard Guard to give it the crown, and then we've got the Lizard King, but yeah, just a matter of time, I guess. Let's get some little bit of experience. Okay, never mind. No experience had for you. No experience for you, sir! Hey! Okay, we have ourselves... Maybe an area heal or maybe a divine ray. You know what? Actually, I think. Let's do this. Get a double. A nice, juicy double cheeseburger. That would be cool. You know, instead of that, we'll just go divine ray. We'll smoke this, uh. We'll, we'll smoke this simp here. Sardine's getting kind of low. Sardine's getting kind of lonely over here. It's an imp. Ah, demon. Well, initially they were called demons, and then the translator's like, This is too evil. We shall change their names to imps. In which case, I might just call them simps now. <laughs> Silent!
silence you, Angel! No, I will not be silent. You cannot put duct tape over my mouth. Damn it! And she ran away. Victory to be had for... <laughs> Man, this is a massive win for Caroleon. Holy cow! All that experience not gone to waste and a level 30 Phoenix going to Caroleon. Will Caroleon take care of Jean Grey? Will they take care of Jean Grey? We'll find out. But... Is Scalios coming back against Norgard? They are not... They're not putting up with that anymore. No more of that stuff. Drist and the bad man. The bag man. Drist and the bad man. <laughs> Drist, Drist and the bad man. He's a bad man. <laughs> we guys lose. That's the way the world works. But the angel stayed the same. No, actually the angel did get a little bit of a change. Uh, some people were upset with the translator for that. But initially, you know how you go to Lucifer? You um, you quest up to an arc. Um, you, you go from... What is it? Angel... What are the classes again? Uh, the final class is, uh, is the uh, Arc Seraph. Or, like, you know, Archangel, Arc Seraph. And the dot changes from a black and white and red to two whites and a red. You still get Meteor Doom, though. But the way that the the way that the beast plays, the way that the monster plays, is a little bit different because, you know, you've got more white orbs. So if you're in the Bullnoil fight, uh, from what it previously was, Bullnoil will hit you harder with Meteor Dooms because you're more you have more white dots. So the angel did change a little bit, and the uh, uh, demon class did lose their. Uh, throwing spikes. So the Lilith lost her ability to use her wing attack to throw spikes at the enemy. Um, but she still pretty much has everything else. So I'd have to say, like, in the past, everybody was, like, all about the Lucifer monster, but I have to say they kind of suck now in comparison. I'd prefer to take a Lilith than I would take um, even the Ark or the Lucifer, and I still would prefer the Lilith just because of the potential of charm. Just hitting something and charming it, that's that's quite that's quite powerful. Where are we at? Turn three? Mr. Goldar coming into fight. I thought the unicorn was going to go out and fight. Frontline unicorn! Oh. Are we going to see a Paul Money's Bag to Magus fight here? I have a feeling we are. I know. I know. Only attack with two. They might have tried to attack with another knight, but I, uh, you know, considering that other battle that we just saw where they lost, they probably were going to attack with, um, with a knight from there, but they couldn't. They had to play defense, so this could be why there's only two knights in here. Could we still get a win with Drist? Maybe. I mean, we do have Drist here, after all. But I have no idea how they're going to play it. If, if they had just, if the unicorn just heals itself all day. It's not going to help anybody, and it's going to make it very difficult to get a win. I mean, there is... It's Palmatis versus... Um, versus Bagman. Versus Bagdamagus. Plus, we got a lane here, too, with some magic, so this could be tough. 
And there is that bronze golem there too, so... I don't know. Like Driss is going down and he's just gonna reap... <laughs> he's just gonna reap birds out of the sky. <laughs> he's like, get out of here! Yeah, how you doing, Totality Games? We had a... We had a lot to talk about yesterday. If you're from Minnesota... If you're, if you're in the Twins, not too far away. But, um, yeah, I've only been in Minnesota once. No, 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 that's not true. Um, I drove through there a few times, but, like, only really, like, went once. I think we went, uh, one year I went to the, uh, uh was it, I was up in Duluth. We were watching fireworks. You can see, like, fireworks in four different four different areas at the same time. I think up in that one area, that one little town. <laughs> He's gonna curse Bagdamagus. F you, Bagdamagus! Oh! How dare you! That's what I imagine when they're doing it. But actually throwing real insults at each other. Yum, 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 yum. Oh boy. Self heal. It's a self healing prophecy. Or else it's just a dead unicorn. No, just a dead unicorn. That's that's how it is. You know how they have that self-fulfilling prophecy stuff? Can win this. <laughs> it's gonna be really tight if we can even do it. And there's and all the leaders are in the back too. Gino Flames, Gino Frost. This is like perfect. This is a perfect defense that Norgard has right here. It's a perfect defense. I could only just get around here. I could do that to Lane. Black. Oh, we only got one. Oh wait, no, we got, we got, um, we got more than that. All right, let's. Okay, our position here isn't so bad. One twenty five Zedna for a curse. Maybe. Just enough, good. Well, they captured a couple things, so that's that's all right. All right. We need 55 for that. Frost Edge? <laughs> Alright. F 
foul cry. Jeez. It's gonna be a tough fight to win. I'm just totally honest about that. It's if we get a round hit a leader maybe. But they've got all this stuff just clogging our path forward. Oh, 412. Nice. Oh, just... Might get a win. I don't know. Purple candies. There's the leader. They're wrecking my army, though. They are wrecking my army very badly. Someone save me! Anybody. Anybody at all. Can somebody save me? I need salvation. Oh, poor dummy. Poor dummy needs his mummy. I don't know what they're gonna do now. I gotta turn over the reins, but you know, we did, I think, the best we could there. best. You did a great job. Kudos to you. Retreat? Back of Magus is retreating? You just got... Dude, you could have healed up, bro. 
Oh, Drist versus the Bronze Golem. Mr. Goldark. Don't know what's gonna happen, bro, but... I don't think Drist wants to leave. Whoa, crit! <laughs> Mr. Goldark is getting low! <laughs> You're finally gonna do an attack now? Come on! You waited that whole time? Wow, unbelievable. Mr. Goldark versus Mr. Goldark. <laughs> Which one is... And Drist retreats. Ooh, that brown scallop could have could have been completely broken there. A victory for Norgard. Escalio could have gotten that win. I'm just saying. Paul Mighty's could have walked to the castle. Been fine. Nuomechia invades Solsteam. Here we go. Here we go. What the? Lance and Helrado? That's it? Okay, it's just against Ector. I was gonna say, are you guys baked? You can field three knights. You have 30 something odd knights. You can field all of the knights you wanna field. Why are you only sending in two knights? You're wasting all your experience potentials. Go, actor, go, actor, go, go, actor, go, actor, go, 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 go. You'll make it get a win. Boom. <laughs> Boom, shakalaka. Old Shootlius meets a lady. Okay, I think we'll probably do one more uh, fight for the night. And uh, we'll probably call it after that. But I gotta thank everybody for being here. It's a lot of fun. Uh, we'll see what happens with these fights. I don't know what's gonna happen. Maybe... Carleon will actually fight north at, for at some point. I'm not, I don't know. I am very surprised there was only Ector at that castle. Nurgard has a ton of knights. Why are they... Are they really that spread out? I didn't think they were that spread out. Ah, eh, whatever. Diamond Crown. Okay. Yeah, they really don't have much here. This is quite sad. Where is the... the where is the Thor? That's what I don't get. You had him in stock. You had Pringer here. You had all the stuff. You could have moved it in there and attacked with it. And you didn't do that. Is Thor over here? Oh, okay, good. They have stuff over here. Good for them. Vinder just keeps moving all over the place. Okay. 
Okay, I gotta know why is... Alright. Why is Vinard here? When there was a tiny little team there with nothing there. And Vinard was here. He, he just literally, essentially let them take that castle. Oh. Okay. Oh, that's right. That's right. We've got a connection here. Um... Okay, let's check out the domain. Let's see what's happening. Scalio is getting low. Yomeki is already kind of low. Kaleon's pushing down very hard down south, which they can do. Kaleon knocks out Escalio. Oh my gosh, that's gonna be crazy. Scalio really doesn't have much to fight here. There's not much here. They've, they've got the knights and all that, but they don't have much to fight with. They really don't. Kerleon might be the ultimate winner. I don't know why you, but you decided to go with two knights. You have plenty of yeah, this this makes no sense. You got you guys got plenty of knights. Well, I guess Langeborg's being kept in reserve. <laughs> okay. Let's move on from there. Scalio isn't looking too hot, but they do have a mana they have a, a mana yield so they can buy some monsters back. Um that fight Drist should have won. He should have won that fight. He really honestly he should have won that fight. You know what? Actually, no, no, that doesn't make any sense. You could have sent Brasiliande team in there. You only won with two. You could have sent Brasiliande into Aston as well. You really could have won that fight. Why didn't you do that? Ah, uh, oh well. Here, I want to see the points here. Let's see that real quick. Cause reasons. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I was thinking they had a team over here that was... Maybe the fact is they did have a team here that was going to attack there too. But they could have sent this whole south team north because there's nothing for them to do. They could have sent this whole team north. They could have sent this team and this team. But you know what they do a lot of times? They just send in three knights and they don't care about like this not having anything left to do. It could have walked in there and, and done some nasty, nasty things to, to Norgard's team. And they, it just, it, Brass, Brass Land is just sitting there with Charlene, Camden, and Aldous. Yeah. So, you're also here, Spikers, as a Phoenix, just in case, too. Um... Norgar. I think we're going to see Nuomeki and Norgar go at it for a while. Until Kerleon actually gets off their butt and attacks north here to Listinois, which they should be doing. There's no reason for them just to sit there all damn day. Norgar could go and attack them too. I'd like to see Norgar or Kerleon go at it at this point really would you know oh you finally set up a decent team there you go
Scalio's looking a little wiped. Oh, they're looking a little browbeat here. Oh, that's not very good. Yeah, maybe your Phoenix can. Norgard invades Jukes. Brandian and Roadbull. That's it. You've got all these other characters around here. We're just going to see two. What? Two on two? Is that what we're going to see? Oh, we got a uh, full defense here. We got Ale Coley, uh, Shootlius, Horado. We've got Clarence here. Because he's got Monster. I think we're going to. Yeah, we'll go with Horado. He should be on the higher ticket. He's already higher leveled anyways. Norgard is going to give Neomechia points here. I don't see how Norgard can win this. Norgard could have came in with three knights. They could have. They chose not to. They chose not to. There's, there's plenty of knights all over the place that can actually that they could field and they didn't do it. So they're gonna suffer. No, they got two units, but they have they have one to three units all surrounding Jukes. They got Cenodon, you've got Hoomber, they've got uh, uh, Cardiff, you've got Listenoise. And Nuomeki's just sitting here with a full load. It's like why? Why bother? Why just go in with two? Why go in with two units? You can field the whole damn team. Why do it when you field the whole thing? Well, they're gonna they're gonna suffer for it. I mean, I'm fighting for Norgard. Those reasons, yeah. I think the AI is starting to go full retard, so we might have to close the stream down soon. <laughs> I think they're overthought. Their 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 thinky thoughts are not are not in line right now. They're just it the, the game has been running for such a long time that it's like oh I can't oh, I can't think anymore. How many dice do I how many nights do I put on field two one okay uh, can I beat three sure uh, math math is fun. I think I broke the AI's brain. <laughs> Just by playing the game. <laughs> Wouldn't that be awesome if I could just completely outthink the AI, even in this game? They couldn't have moved everything to the point that they couldn't field three guys. I don't, I don't see the point of constantly flipping... Knights around like pancakes all the time. It just doesn't make any sense to me. Gino Bolt! Jake Pliskin. Boom! Yummy. Didn't do much to brand again. I mean, it's a Gino Bolt from a, from a Thor, so it's not that powerful, but it's still, still damage there. Haley is going in against Brangian with Hawkeye. Uh, no. I don't know if it's the best idea, really. Truly don't. You got a ghoul? You got a ghoul battle there? I think Thor will practically live forever because most of the time he's just going to be setting up just to do a bolt attack. And then by the time he comes in to actually do a regular attack, he's at full hit points versus whatever he's coming after. You know, he's he's he already, you know, got his energy out on the enemy, and you know he could just come in and you know smack Dougal whoever. 
There's the crit. Still turn three. Yikes. Heal up Ray again. Gonna need her. To try to not die. <laughs> oh, put a hard spell on? Okay. That might help for like two seconds. Good, good. Using the water advantage. I like that. That's good. Okay, uh, turn four. How much do you have left? You got 71 MP. Oh, it's 91 for Bolt, that's right. Yeah, he can't do it again. <laughs> Boom! Take that, you dumb bird! Jake Pliskin with the smackdown. <laughs> Dumb bird. <laughs> Stupid bird. You're dead bird now. Yeah. Bird on bird action over here. Come get your tickets. 76. Spirit of 76. Uh oh. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna get a win with Mulder here. It's just. Just no. Just, just no. She could have done so many different things. Hey, look at that coal! Rune power plus seven. It's pretty good. With the power of turn four, we might see something happen here. I think he's gonna run. Yeah. He's got he's got no reason to keep trying. That was stupid. Didn't really I don't know if they killed anything on New Amekia's team. I think they just gave him a full up level there. New Amekia invades Cardiff? You're kidding me. What? Lance? Against Vinard and Lewintail. What the hell is going on here? I think the AI has just gone batshit stupid right now because they have more knights there that they could field. Le just Lance? You literally are just going to give Vinard an easy peasy win? You're going to walk in here and run away? Uh, well, uh, maybe I should have went with more knights. I'm, I'm sorry. Sorry, Viner. Hey, thanks, Lance. Come again any day. 
Give us extra experience for no reason. <laughs> I can't believe this. I cannot believe this. Scalio invades Aston again with what? One knight? Just Drist versus three defensive knights? Probably. Ooh, we actually have some contenders. And Eldis is coming from the south. No way. Wow, that's that's actually quite admirable. Wingulet and Morholt, that's all you can put down? Weak guys lose. That's the way the world works. My name is Gwingulin. I'm a pirate. Aye, aye, Captain. Turn one. Of year 220. All right. This is going to be fun. We could definitely get a win with... with well, I, you know what? Maybe I shouldn't say that anymore. I think we have a good chance. I'll just say that. I think we have a good chance with Escalio to come back and knock... Uh, Knock Norgard's noggin around a little bit. Knocking Norgard's noggin. Knocking Norgard's noggin. Knocking. We should make a song off that, right? Isophis is going to be ready to heal Drist. <laughs> Isophis is just waiting, just itching and scratching. He's like, I always wanted to heal Drist all my life. Queen Leoness was such a pain in the butt. I couldn't stand her. She didn't like looking at flowers like I did. Um, now I finally get to heal somebody worthwhile. Just likes to look at all the flowers everywhere. Uh, you know what? Forget it. I'm just going to go kick some ghouls in the face. That's what I do. That's that's how I live my life. And yeah, that's that's uh, that's me. That's my name. My name's Isfis. I'll kick you away. And anybody that tries to attack me again, I will... I will kick you right in the face and push you as far as away as possible. That's, that's that's all I do. That's 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 me. My name's Isfis. Nice to meet you. <laughs> he didn't even attack Isfis. Now that would have made sense. Black attacking the white there. Okay. Meteor Doom? Who would have ever thunk that? Who would have ever have thunk that they would do Meteor Doom like that, right there? Who would have? Mr. Goldark, you're in a bit of a difficult situation here, bro. Broski. Yeah, try that again. Kick you to face, bro. Boom. Bye bye. Unicorn, front line now. Go. Don't heal. <laughs> Turn four. Oh. Triss is like, nope, you're not killing Mr. Goldark off. I am going to kill you. And that's how things work. Weak guys lose. That's the way the world works. Holy word for the win. That was a very quiet holy word. This fist doesn't speak very much. Frontlining Unicorn. Makes sense. Dink donk. Good. 
Oh, jeez. Come on, man. Oof. I thought we had a good chance, but Isfis had to get crazy with, you know, ghouls kicking. Isfis is a little nutsy. Maybe a little more nutsy than Drist is at this point in time. Back attack. Aldous. You're not getting away, you stupid ghoul. Maybe we can get the win. I don't know. Well, I'd have to kind of fricassee her a little bit. Maybe I shouldn't do that. Oh, he's got to heal himself. Just enough. Take out the healer. <laughs> Lose that stupid thing. Scorched Fang. Oh, good. Just enough. Mr. Goldark, you will survive, bro. She wouldn't be such a dumb dumb, but what can I what can I do? We can't can't do anything about that. Alright, Isfis. Oh my gosh. Just survive, man. Just Just survive. Well, it's better than hitting Isfis with that. <laughs> nice job. It's going to be seeing tons of misses left and right all over the field here. Right? Just like that. Just like that. And guess who gets a heal? Isfis. Oh, such a perfect opportunity here. This was a this was a nice comeback win here. She put herself in just the right spot. Very, very happy with this. Extremely happy with that. Uh, what do we do with that? Jamfter is not really much of a problem right now. He really, literally just has that. I have to deal with, uh... Got to deal with Gwingulin. I could nibble on him a little bit. Or not. Mr. Goldark. 
Would you do the honors, bro? Good shot, man. Good shot. Oh, crap. Yep, I uh, probably shouldn't have put him there. And a retreat. Oh, that was good. Oh, man, that's such a good battle. This was such a good battle. It, it was, I don't know, I was worried, but it was a little risky, but they, they got it back. It's good for them, good for them. Crescent Moon. Forgot what that is. I think it's a samurai sword. I think it's a Sammy sword. Got Daffy. Daffy got some MP. <laughs> she doesn't need any of that. Ice Slash doesn't cost anything anymore, so that's a thing of the past. I almost am kind of surprised at the fact that Numeki has so many knights, they could quest so many knights right now. There's the Gilded Crown right there. You might see uh, a Lizard King, maybe. But Numeki has so many knights, they could quest so many knights, and they could have so many lapises in their stock. They really could have... I think they put one thing on and then they just kind of just kind of forget about I gotta know how many items do they have and what look at this eternal oath arc seraph gigantes to loki gilded crown lizard king Yet they don't have any of those monsters. Here's the points. We are getting close to seeing maybe near the end of everything. If Escalio keeps getting beat down by Norgard and Carleon, they're not going to do very well. They could lose. New Mechia could lose too. And then we're literally going to see green versus blue. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I don't know what to tell you. But, um... They're totally surrounded here. They might come out to fight. I mean, maybe. I don't know. This army isn't all that hot. I, I, I like leveling up Ector... And Noe is fun to level, but Faticia is really not one of the best knights. It's kind of one of her, the worst lancers that they have. They might counterattack here. I don't know why they have... Probably because they have a rotation of guys that are dying, I guess that's why.
Yeah, that could be why. Okay, well they got a they got a bonus, they're growing. Alright, Norgard is growing very well. They don't, you know, they're getting a thousand a month. They did get kicked around here, they did get kicked out of here. They're gonna need some knights back here, even still, regardless. Drist isn't doing too hot, you know, he's gotta hold all this territory, all very wonky kind of territory. He has I don't know. Is Scalios looking like Leonia at this point? They might fight to come back, but they did lose Jean Grey to Caroleon, which is a big, massive loss. That is a heck of a bird to have. They do have Spike, though. So Spikers are still there with the Scalio. Maybe you'll uh, help them stay alive for a while. But I don't know where Jean Grey is. Jean Grey is somewhere, that's for sure. Right there, Biarte. And a Poseidon. Twenty monsters. They're gonna have to fight back somewhere. I don't know if they're gonna fight back against Carolion. Norgard's kinda getting uh kicked around a lot. They might fight against Norgard. Norgard could start getting kicked around a lot. And if Escalio pushes a Norgard? Maybe Escalio comes back and Norgard falls? It could be something like that. I mean, Norgard has to defend one, two, three, four, five places, which isn't it shouldn't be too hard. But they're they're constant rotation. They're constantly losing some knights. Escalio kind of is too, but you know they just need monsters really. No Mecha needed monsters. Escalio needs monsters. Caroline has a giant positive boost. They're almost at 90 monsters. Getting close to the 100 point value. Kai could go in here and fight at any time. So far, he has not decided to do so. Which maybe this time he actually will. Considering the, the kind of army that's there. This is a really, really good army. It's a very, very good, beefy army. It's very, very good. Jukes is looking better. Better and better by the day. El Rado is actually bit more of a leader right at this point. Huh. Norgard's still positive, but they're kind of getting kicked around here. Escalio, unfortunately, it's not doing too hot. have a kind of a defense there, a kind of a defense here. Uh, there still could be some contention, there could be a fight that, that breaks out here, I don't know. Got some leaders that might want some blood. Kai's moved down to here, so I don't think that don't think Escalio is going to want to fight them at this point, but looks like Kai is going to push down south. So Kai is going to sort of ignore Nuomechia a little bit. Push down south, we'll see what he does down there.
kind of moved all the leaders around again. So here's what we have left. Uh, these are the points. Kirlian's very, very high. Nomekia could have gotten squashed a few different times. Didn't, survived. We'll see if they can survive next time. We don't know. They might get crushed. Um, Escalio is in about the same kind of boat. They have to defend three castles. They don't have a lot of monsters to do so. They might go after Norgard. I don't know, but it could happen in any series of fashion, but so far, Escalio is kind of struggling, Nuomeki is kind of struggling, and it's really down to the two major powers of green and blue to decide the rest of the future. If blue can knock out the red here, they might have a chance to push back against Karelion. But Norgard would have to fight Nuomeki to really make it a, a, a difficult chance, and then Escalio could fight against Nuomeki or against Carleon as well. Maybe do better. But I think if Norgard teams up with uh, Escalio, at this point, you know, whether they fully try or not, regardless, it's it's literally going to be green and red versus, um, you know, the, uh, the yellow and the blue. And it really comes down to, like, if Escalio and Norgard can actually fight back and do some damage, Escalio and Norgard might actually come back. But if if Carleon keeps deciding to steamroll everything, it's you're going to see a Carleon New Omekia victory, whether New Omekia survives or not. You're going to see a green victory, probably, because they have a giant portion of the map. They have enough monsters. They, they, have, they have plenty of mana mana that'll last for, for years. Um, knights, they, have, they can put up to four castles, four keeps for that. It's really just Nuomekia is kind of saving Carleon at this point, so Carleon can grow. So Nuomekia is sort of being a buffer. But um, yeah, we'll have to watch the rest of this in the next video, uh, probably Monday. So I'm going to call it a night. Thanks so much for being here, Spikers, Carrot, uh, Totality Games. Thank you so much for the subscribe up here. I'm trying to... Rude Boy, thank you so much for the subscribe. Pringer, everybody else that was here as well. Even Jake, I think you were here as well. And Mr. Goldark. I do appreciate everything. And it means a lot to me for all the subscribes that you do. And all the follows, you know, if that's if that's what you can do. But, um, yeah, I am on YouTube. I didn't get anything uploaded today, but tomorrow we'll have some uploaded stuff of Brigadine content. So if you want to check it out on, on YouTube or on BitChute, uh, Brighton, I'm trying to, trying to expand to some other sites too. So you'll probably see me on some other websites, and I'm probably going to put more game content uh, there. And I've got some new stuff that I think I'm going to put out as well. So maybe some like personal helpful videos I might put out on my channel also. So if you enjoy that kind of content, you know, come over to YouTube and come over to the other platforms that I've, I've mentioned as well. And uh, I guess enjoy the content. Um, yeah, I have to call it for tonight. It's been a bit, last night was very, very long. Tonight I don't want to go as long, but uh, thanks for everything. I hope that you thoroughly entertained, and I hope you enjoy the the brigadine fun that we've had here. We're gonna have more of that uh, coming up Monday. So Monday is gonna be the new game, and then I'll close the stream out after a couple hours, and then we'll play, you know, some more of this. So until then, take care and have a great night.